exposed here. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to another episode of the show that others would have wished to have the idea for. Music exposed. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for the resub's existence. And moving Dutchman. Hi, hi, hi. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing well today. We are, we, we are, wow. We are airing the second show of Music Exposed. And I'm so, so, so excited. Uh, we're going to be here all year. All year. Probably. Probably. I don't know. It's uh, an interesting year this year. But uh, you know why? You know why? Because we started Music Exposed. That, that's why. Uh, we, have <laughs> we, have, we have a very... We have a very special guest today, uh, very dear to me, a friend, Sunfire TV. She is amazing. She is very, very talented. And I'm just going to spoil this for you right now. She is hot AF. I mean, she's hot every day, but today she is hot AF, my friend. <laughs> it wasn't a joke, silence. <laughs> it wasn't a joke. Uh, but um, if you haven't uh, seen my face or the face of this show ever before, what we do here is expose the hottest and most talented musicians on Twitch, which means all of them, which, uh, you know, could be biased or not. We'll see. Uh, subjective. And um, <laughs> I am your host, Sarah Jazz. I'm a professional musician and I do Twitch full time. And I have a wonderful, wonderful uh, co-host today, the douchebag noise. Um, you will see why. <laughs> uh, I am super, super excited to be airing the second show. We have so many good guests. Uh, one of the best guests uh, is obviously uh, Sunfire TV. I'm very, very excited to ask her all the juicy questions. We do have a few juicy questions. She did send us a few embarrassing clips, so I'm sure you guys will be entertained. And yeah, let's just get right into it. Let's sit down and see who Douchebag Noise is. Hello, hello. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Um, I'm going to let himself explain. I'm going to let him explain himself. Um, himself, Alice himself. Himself, himself. himself, himself. Well, event. thank you so much, Slango, for the 100 bits. Here you go. This is the silence noise. What's up, Hepcats? How you doing? <laughs> How dare you call me a douchebag, by the way? I don't know why you would ever come up with something like that. Uh, I mean, seriously, I put in so much hard work and time and effort and energy to this show. Mm -hmm. I don't have any idea how you right. could call me that. For um, real. It's rude. I'm Hub just, caps. I'm just, um, you know, it's just the way you look today. What's wrong with the way I look? You look amazing. These are some, these are some trendy glasses, okay? We have, we have to celebrate because some of that hard work has paid off. I released something yesterday on Twitter and on Discord, for those of you that saw it, that we're going to be premiering on today's show. You know, just our just our way of saying thanks to the community for, you know, all of their service and supporting Music Exposed, something to support all of the artists that come on the show. You know, we're, we're just we're just always looking for ways to give back. That's what we're here to do. OK, I'm a little bit scared. What is it? Well, you you know you, but you have to act surprised once it happens later in the show. Oh, okay? oh, oh, yeah, because I'm triggering it, right? I'm gonna be surprised. I'm gonna be like, <laughs> oh my god, I did not know that I had this on my computer. What the hell? What is this? I know. Well, I hacked into it last night while you were asleep, oh. and I just added all sorts of things. And you know, I, I again, we're always looking to upgrade because oh. we're always looking to service you as best we can. S service they also you. sell those glasses at my local gas station yes hey that's true how you, much are they i don't even know i i don't i got these in san francisco like a year and a half they ago. look very san francisco i have my pair too they're orange though um i, I forgot the red glasses they're in the other room but that's but okay we'll get to see them as well are we the, they'll be ready for are we the well. sunglass gang now or something that's that's true we're, we're going for well the, the whole motif of this show is 70s themed i mean everything about it has been 70s themed it's why it's called music exposed mm -hmm. and we're really taking it in today they didn't get them at a yearly steampunk fair there are steampunk fairs 
I never. I didn't even hear there about are? that. There I mean, are really. On, oh. Hmm. Yeah. I. I think even my outfit today is very 70s. I think we're actually perfect, right? I like, agree. I think you and I coordinate this before the show. We did. We have long conversations on Discord. Yes. About fashion. Yes. People look at me. That you know. That's the truth. People look at me on the show, and then they come to my stream even further, and they're like. You know, forget listening to New York. Forget listening to Paris. Mm -hmm. If we are going somewhere for fashion, we're coming to the silence. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I very told true. I that noise was going to get a lot of mileage. Yes, yes. It's, it's, it's a really good noise. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Do I make you Randy? Mm. Do I make you Randy, baby? Mm. Well, I love your look, though. I, I love your look, though. I think you should be looking like this every day. I think we should be a staple for fashion. That's I true. think you should think about this as a way of, you know, music exposed is also fashion exposed. You know, it's like there are two fashion <laughs> icons who just give their best and just want to entertain with music, comedy, but also amazing fashion. You know? I am nothing but an icon, and I like Village Rue says long conversations on Discord about fashion, to which I listen to nothing. I listen to only my personal style and my instincts and my intuition. I wake up in the morning and I'm like, I already look beautiful. How will I look more beautiful? beautiful. How will I accentuate this beautiful beard? How will I accentuate these glasses? <laughs> And I was like, oh no, my Paisley shirt is in storage, so I gotta bust out the windbreaker. I mean, That's you look I good though. It. Yeah, you just I need do. to, I you just know. need to improvise, even in, in fashion, you know? <laughs> we believe in nothing, Glebowski. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we have, we have um, a drummer today on Twitch. I believe she's the only female drummer on Twitch. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know if she's the only one. I've seen I've seen another one or two. You have because I'm I was I sure so. she's the only one. I was almost sure. It's just because Sunfire is so popular and you're a clout chaser. So Very true. You have to Very hang out true. in all the popular rooms. It's just the way it is. Like if they don't even have a hundred beauty. Look, my beautiful face and my beautiful mug can only go into well populated rooms. I yes. do not hang out with peons. What did what did I, I heard a tree a, what was the what was the term I heard the other day? It was like two viewer Charlie or something like that. No, or no, two no. Viewer Larry. No, ten viewer Andy. Ten viewer Andy. Yes, ten viewer. That's Andy. what it is. I do not. I do not associate with ten viewer Andys. I'm sorry. Okay. Why not? Um, I think you should. Well, because they don't give me any, any clout. What are you talking about? This should be very. That's true. Yeah. How else would we have viewers for music exposed if? if it weren't for ignoring 10 viewer Andes. <laughs> uh, Speaking of, we have plenty of 10 viewer Andes coming up in our roster for Music Exposed. Please don't be uh, Don't call them out though, term. because it's okay to be a 10 viewer Andy, okay? I just I'm, want- I'm a 10 viewer Andy and I am a host on this show. Wow, well, you it, made though. it, you made it far, my friend. You made it far. You're... I'm, I'm I'm down to nine subscriptions after last week's show. The more I do this show, the more detrimental it is to my streaming career. Yeah, it's, it's just it's just terrible. You know, it's good that I can do a public service by publicly sacrificing my stream for music. <laughs> It's like viewers leave me and they go watch other people and the dumber I get, oh. like you'll see, it'll get dumber and dumber as the weeks go on. Very true, very true. Because we will get more and more and more um, comfortable. In I think in 10 weeks we will be sitting here in our, you know, most dirty and filthy pajamas. <laughs> Well, at least That's, me. I don't. I don't. I don't wear pajamas. I'm far too hot for that. Oh yes. I'm far too fashionable. Fashionable people do not wear pajamas. Very true. I forgot. I'm sorry. Our beauty must be, especially in the moonlight. The moonlight brings out a particular type of beauty <laughs> that you cannot get in any other type of lighting. Ah. Okay. It's is true. is that when you tan? <laughs> <laughs> because it shows. It shows, my friend. It, it does. shows. <laughs> Look, I've seen the sun at some point in the last year, okay? I can I can prove it. If you on my stream, I've done some trail walks. People can verify that 
I saw the sun as it was going down mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I did it at that time so that I could get my moonlight glow. Mm. People could watch for the moonlight glow. <laughs> What is this character? What do you call? I call him the, the douchebag noise. I like the douchebag noise. I, I'm, I'm. That's my normal character. Oh, though, that's so. just you. Oh, you just make a character normally. Rush, oh, so thank you so much. Yay! <laughs> thank you so much for that raid. So How are you doing? You. Oh, your uh, stream was amazing. Thank you so much for raiding us. Thank I you, too thank am you. something of a connoisseur of brushes. <laughs> <laughs> what brushes? <laughs> Hair brushes. Hair br oh, look yes, at, obviously. Look at my fantastic hair. Yes, you're I was, fantastic. I did hair. say this. I did say this on last stream because for some reason, there are some weirdos in my stream, <coughs> Dewoomi, who want me to do a playing with my hair stream. Playing so with your hair. Yes, so it's just going to be a full stream <laughs> of just me playing with my hair. That's what they want. It's going to be like Marsha Brady. Oh, I, I don't know why they want this, but I am nowhere near reaching the goal that is necessary for that to happen. And I'm I'm happy about that. I, I'm, I'm nowhere near it. Nowhere near it. I see existence in ch existence existence uh, is in chat. I see existence in chat too. Uh, I think she's there. <laughs> And uh, she's also going to be on the show. I actually don't know what, what day. I don't know the days, but she's going to be on the show too. And uh, I'm excited to have her on. Days? You don't know days? Didn't you go to kindergarten? Didn't they teach you no. anything in kindergarten? No, existence I, I'm sorry. Existence, uh, professional announcer voice, Existence 130 will be appearing on Music Exposed June 20th. Oh, wow. June 20th. Who's prepared? I'm excited. I'm prepared. I'm prepared to. Oh, hmm. I hope that she will be busting out her her best douchebag um, Thanks fashion. Thanks for calling me sugar tits, Palo. I appreciate that. I am sugar tits. <laughs> I mean, look at him. Look at this man. Look at, look at how sugary my tits are. <laughs> I want to know what that comes from. Where did someone teach me the the origin of the phrase sugar tits? I don't know. This I think it's because it's sweet, sweet plus tits. You know, sweet and tits just equals. Who calls tits sweet, though? I don't know. Like, I, unless you're uh, like, that sounds like something a 10 year old would say about a video game. It's like, bro, this video game is sweet. I've never heard anybody walk up to me and they're like, bro, those tits so sweet, bro. Oh, my God. They're <laughs> so sweet, bro. Bro. Those are the sweetest tits, bro. bro. You need to to, to, to just enhance your character. I think you should be uh, ending every sentence with bro. Bro. Yeah, bro. I, I won't remember that. No. Never muse. What's going on? Thanks for making it over. Hmm. Well, today we have a drummer, right? So, what do you? What are drums? What are drums? <laughs> so, what would you say is one of the most memorable drum lines? In I've never heard. I've never heard the drums. Oh, in my you've life never. Before. So the drums they sound by basically like this. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Uh, for me, actually, all of the drums on the Silence Noise songs are just various samples of clapping my ass around the house. <laughs> I just, I just watched, I watched a lot of twerking videos, and I watched, a, I wa I learned the technique. So it was like, okay, this sounds like a kick. It's like, Whoa! and this sounds like a snare. It's like, it, so Wait, how do you the, make the, the sound with your ass? It's 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 difficult. It's an art, okay? Mm. You have to watch a lot of YouTube tutorials. You have to watch <laughs> a lot of YouTube sound? tutorials. How do you make For that? Quick. Can you show us? No, I can't. Oh. Because as you can see, this body, like my my muscles are very heavy and they keep me stuck down on this couch. So there's absolutely no way <laughs> to see true, true. my butt you, you on stream. Yeah, it's true. Impossible. Your butt doesn't doesn't move. Yeah, that's right. It you're doesn't. Just, it's just, real. Yeah. It's because I work. It's because I work out so much. Oh, okay? right. Yes, yes. That makes sense. Yeah. Mm. Clearly. Mm. Look at look at the biceps. Okay, <laughs> biceps <laughs> and triceps. But would you what would you guys <laughs> say is one of the one of the most memorable? drum drum moments in 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 music what i i would say what is it the, uh, the the song oh god i'm so bad with names what is the song this song in the air tonight it has like this you mean in the air tonight in which the you air just tonight. sang yes. the words to <laughs> you're like 
What is that song that goes in the air tonight called? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. I've never heard I don't of that know. song I've never before. Heard it. I don't know. No idea. No idea what it. No what idea. What could it be called? What is it? What is it? Yeah, in the air tonight. It has that. Boom, 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 boom. I like that one. I don't know. I think I think you've got to have Billy Jean in that conversation. The oh. intro to Billy Jean. Yeah. The thing about Billy Jean is. You know, there's some drum lines and fills and riffs that are so iconic that most people don't think about drums in that way, though. I think most people think about guitar riffs or they think about synth leads or they think about vocal parts. But it's like Billy Jean, you can probably be almost anywhere in the world and that drum part starts and people know it's Billy Jean. Yeah. Which that's pretty amazing to think about just from that really simple you know if if only if only i could remember that other in the air tonight song what it's called that that song's kind of like that too you the other the, the other song which other yeah, song the other in the air tonight song. the other in the, the air tonight that, song? The, one that, the one that has in the air tonight in it I've, I've never heard of it we will rock you is another one but does that count as drums we i will mean rock you is it's, it's percussion but, is but it we will rock you was basically like people making the drums right yeah. Like, it's not really drums. Yeah. Lots and lots of ass clapping in that song. Yeah, lots so of ass clapping. Lots of technique to think about. Seven Nation Army. Do people really oh. think about the drum part of Seven Nation Army? I don't think For so. For me, I think about the bass part. Yeah, the, same. I think about the... the doom, 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 yeah. Doom, 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 doom. I mean, because yeah. the drums are just boom, 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 yeah. boom. Yeah. I agree. Hmm. Outside the Ocean This Morning. What song is that? But... I don't know what that is. Outside the ocean this morning. I oh, think I there, are, there are a lot I of good- I get it, Nevermuse, shut up. <laughs> I, I think there are a lot of good drum moments in 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 in, in music. I mean, the thing about the really? drums- I think about the- That's a deep analysis. I know, sorry, right? I to, uh, I wow. I've... I think in music, I think in all of music history, there are some memorable drums. <laughs> <laughs> listen, if listen. You look at, if you listen to music as a whole, all of the music and creation. Occasionally, there are memorable drum parts. <laughs> listen, your guests are toxic. My guess, I am. I'm <laughs> listen, he's not a guest. He's a co-host. Silence Noise is my co-host. Um, he is also a ten viewer, Andy, and he's a I douchebag. Am. I'm a I'm a six viewer, Andy. Now, <laughs> oh, true. you know what? You know what Matt Gaddy said. Um, what? he said, he said after he was on our show, he lost five, four followers and gained five. He did. He did mention that. <laughs> the reason was, is because he was honest and that's the bullshit. Like uh, that's part of why we wanted to do this show. We people to be able to say what they think and talk about what they want. And I think Matt is worried that he talked about certain people and certain people yeah. were offended by that. And so he lost followers. Yeah. So if you're one of those followers... And, and you know the name of that song that goes in tonight. Could you please reach out to us? <laughs> tell us what the name of that song is. Yeah, because I need I, to I, know. I know. I need to know. It's important. It's difficult. I know. What's, but what about what about Nick Barker, the drummer from Cradle of Filth? Let's talk to Sunfire about that because Sunfire is a metalhead. Yeah. I admit I'm not I'm not super into metal. And if I listen to progressive rock, it's mostly 70s era progressive rock. Yeah. Like okay. Floyd and Genesis and stuff like that. Mm. I don't listen to. It the shows in your music, by the way. It does? Yeah, yeah. It does. It does a lot. How terrible my music is. No, no <laughs> shut up. Shut You're just, oh my God. Drum intro from Led Zeppelin's Rock and Roll is a pretty note. That is true. I agree with that. I agree with that. Did you make an ass clapping sample for one of my songs? Existing? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Duh. I will get right on that. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Thomas Frank is going to be on this show too. I'm also excited to have him. We're... Thomas Frank will be on the show on America's birthday, July 4th. Oh, really? Interesting. July so he has a very, 4th. very important date. He's, he's important. He does. Very important. Because I thought it couldn't be more appropriate America's birthday to have a foreign musician. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's, that's you know, good though. It was like, when I think of America, I think of Argentina. Right. You know, that's that's when I think of In the Air Tonight, I wonder what the title <laughs> of that song is. And when I think of America, I think of Argentina because my brain is broken and doesn't work correctly. <laughs> Listen, shut up, okay? Just 
Listen, no, shut up. <laughs> Listen, shut up, no. I was uh, on a call the other days with Sarah, and we were setting up tech for this episode. And it was literally just 30 minutes of any time I would say anything, Sarah would be like, Listen, shut up, no. And then just go back to what she was doing. So I just stopped talking, but she kept saying it. So it just kept coming out again. Listen, shut up, no. Oh, I just, I'm sorry. I apologize. Just I, No, I like it. I, okay. I, I like the abuse. Otherwise, I wouldn't be on the show. I like it. <laughs> this is, okay. Okay. Well, that's. I like Samantha mm. Flair. I like Samantha. Is that like, is that like Ric Flair's daughter? I don't know. Oh my God. <laughs> I hated that you used that on my, on my standing uh, moment. That was not I'm good. sorry. It was funny. I have my, you give me control over the sound effects. I know. And I can't I, I, I'm regretting that very, very. You should. Yeah, I really don't say that that. comment out loud. Ric Flair. Am I not allowed to talk about Ric Flair? Is that a bad (laughs) thing? Out of all the ones I chose that, of course I did, because that's who I am. That's who I am. Uh, It was a mistake. It was a mistake. Yeah. So uh, I'm still uh, what do you guys think? Do you still think that he's going to make like one more show? How many shows did they say you're going to make like one to two? Two. (laughs) So to do is two. So I have to to get fired today. So I have to think of something inappropriate to do. I've already I've already filmed something pretty inappropriate that's coming okay. later in the show, so that'll be coming. But I don't know. I, I guess I just have to say inappropriate things to Sunfire. I don't know. What, oh no! Don't do that. I, I mean, totally, yeah. I mean, I would never. I would never. I would. You, you know can what? ask inappropriate questions, though. You know, you're I the would, interviewer. I would, never, I would never be inappropriate to a to woman. My to, to my ladies. Okay, <laughs> never. <laughs> <laughs> can you like do when a wink? Lady, can you do a wink for the camera? Come, yeah, yeah, you can really see it well behind my glasses. Just... I'm winking right now. Do you see it? Do you see it? <laughs> Look at my eyes. Look at him. Oh God. You think my hair should be more greasy? Listen, I am going for that Pantene Pro V sponsorship. That's that's why I'm doing Music Exposed in the hopes that Pantene Pro V will sponsor me and my beautiful luscious my beautiful luscious hair as it shines in the moonlight. I hope <laughs> I'm, I'm losing my accent. So I'm known yeah. for I'm known for my work actually, but it's fine. A man with those glasses never. I I, I am a man. I don't know why you would act like I'm not. Yeah, I'm so I vulgar. think I I mean I legit. Let's be very honest. Some some guys are not. I mean, listen. I think men men with a good good um fashion sense are actually super sexy am i the only one who thinks like that like i prefer a man that has no, a I good think... fashion sense than a man that just wears sweaters and jeans all the fucking time no i i think women really love men that look like they've just rolled out of bed and they're wearing the same like dirty old wife beater that they've been wearing for like <laughs> six days with the pit stains and like cigarette burn holes in them and like cut off jean shorts jorts bros if you guys need some fashion tips, wear bust out the jorts. It's almost that time of year. So I think that that is what people are, are looking for. What I, are jorts? I, I, jorts, they're, they're, if, they're short jeans. They're short pants. They're jeans, but short. Th- those are called shorts, re- right? No, they're called jorts if they're jean shorts, bro. <laughs> what? I never heard of those. The, you never heard of jorts? No. Man, you, you need to get some culture. You need to get some America culture. I, I guess I do because I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Makes it fit says the homelessness play. It's true. It does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> bro, Sarah. Uh, <laughs> you told me to end sentences with bro, which is why bruv. I'm doing it. Or bruv. Bro, I can't ever. Bro, I don't remember what I'm supposed to say. How am I supposed to remember what I'm supposed to say? It's oh, bruv. It's bro. Yeah. I'll try to remember that. I'll try to remember. Look, cuddle. I guess cat dog. Uh. <laughs> See, I feel, I don't know. I feel like if we did an anonymous poll of a hundred women, the, the, the look that I just described would win out over a, a fashionable male who showers regularly. <laughs> Do you not like shower regularly? Jump. Is that what we're talking I, about? Here? I don't even, I don't, I don't even own a shower. Oh, I don't even know. My yeah. house didn't come with one. I used to listen. So when I was in college, I had this. I had, like I had this. I lived in this little closet, right? It was like legit the size of a closet. Like you know, I own dressers now that are the same size. I lived in this, and it had like a little. You sometimes before you go on, do you sometimes sleep in the dresser just to remind you of those days? Yeah, <laughs> I cry in it. 
Okay. That's where you cry yourself to sleep. Got it. Yeah. Anyways, so um, I lived, uh, this was in college time. I had no money. I was like very broke. And this closet, by the way, had a bed. Um, and it also had my little stove. Like I had like a little stove thing, like a mini stove. You know those, like the the ones that you buy that is like basically I'm like familiar. A, yeah. They have like one one burning plate or whatever, like one plate thingy, just one. Anyways, um, so this you know, like place a plate that's hot. I wonder yeah. what those are called. <laughs> Plates that get hot. <laughs> hot I've never heard plate. of them. <laughs> Maybe a plate that gets hot. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so Bernie Plady, this exactly. Place, That's what it's called. Bernie Plady. <laughs> <laughs> so this, so so uh, this place had like an extra shower for like the you know for everybody who lived in this kind of apartment, I guess, or something. And this shower was basically it, four walls of like kind of cardboard, like it was like a little bit thicker than cardboard, and you had to put in one euro into like a boiler so it get, gave you hot water it was very expensive so every so time you had, to, you had to pay for your hot water that yeah way? That's yeah interesting. so i had to put like one euro and then it was timed it was like half an hour half an hour of hot water otherwise you wouldn't have hot water you would just have cold water and you would have to put, put like that you know the the coin in otherwise you couldn't shower basically I mean, with okay. cold water, but this is Germany, so you know, yeah, that was. So um, they made, so so in college in Germany, just I'm just getting my facts straight. They make you sleep in a drawer, <laughs> and then they make you pay for a shower. Yeah, and then and then they send you back, and if you want to cook anything, you have to have this this device, the Bernie Platy. Plate. <laughs> yeah, the Bernie Platy. You have to have that. Man, this is rough living. No, it's that tough. was just me because I was a broke ass bitch, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I was extremely broke like you can't it's just it was horrible like I had to I'm not kidding you I had like a, a, a um a set amount of money per day which included my food my like you know going shopping for the day to have food and stuff um if I wanted to ride the bus that was in there too and my shower like the shower, the shower was TBR, in there too. Poor is when I love this. Poor is when you bathe using jars of spit that you heat up with an old community lighter. Climb <laughs> <laughs> in the spit jar, and get hygienic. Are we back to to gate gatekeeping poverty now? <laughs> That's true. This is this this show does that. Obviously, Sarah Sarah hates when we talk about what it's like to be poor in America. Yeah. Because according to her, it's impossible. Yeah, because impossible you guys, be you guys still have toilets, you know. You still have yeah, running well, water, toilet, and toilets. My house doesn't have a shower. I picked it on purpose though, because it was like my funk is beautiful. <laughs> it's part of the package. When I'm in, when I'm in the moonlight, sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> only sometimes, can you see the stench waft from me? It's like pig pen from peanuts wafts from me. It's part of the beauty. It's like an aura. <laughs> what color does it have? It's it's golden, of course. Oh. It's, a, it's golden in the moonlight. No oh god, bruv. <laughs> bruv. It's golden, bruv. It's golden, bruv. <laughs> I love trying to switch those accents. I'm so fashionable, bruv. <laughs> bruv. <laughs> bruv. <laughs> it is beautiful. <laughs> it is beautiful. Uh. The glowed, golden cloud of funk. Funk mm. is a is that's that's where the term funk music came from, actually. <laughs> Stench, basically funk. That's true. Is stench. I'm, a music, I'm a music historian. Yes. Clearly. Okay. Well, that's just that's... As, just as you are with those classic tunes <laughs> that involve the air and tonight. <laughs> and I can't quite remember what the name was. You know, uh... it's tough. I've been thinking about it this. Ho it's been on my mind this whole show, and I, I just, I don't yeah. know. I don't know if I can remember. So, what it who is. would you, who would you say, Chat and Silence You Too? Who would you say are some of the most known and famous drummers of 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 just you know music in general i would i would actually or or the ones that inspire you the most i would say for me it's obviously one of the 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 jazz greats art blakey 
Do you know Art? I mean, I'm guessing you know Art Blakey because I don't. you. I know. No, I know zero about jazz. I'm, yeah, I'm... you know Art Blakey because you are a jazz child and you hate jazz people. Actually, actually, I don't know if you, if if Silence Noise ever to all, told you this. I hate all good music. I no, no, no. I, I I think he never told you this, but because he is a child of a jazz musician's family, uh, he hates jazz musicians. So that's probably why you hate me, right? <laughs> Yeah, obviously. Yes. Uh, obviously it. She's got to expose my family's dirty laundry on stream. It's okay, though. I understand. <laughs> they, look, they were they were both classical and jazz musicians, okay? Listen, a little bit of both. Listen, all right? this bit is of called Colin music Hamilton. exposed, you know? Expose me, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I would say Art Blakey, for me, is one of the, 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 the nicer um, drummers. Who would you guys say who are good? Oh, Buddy Rich, true. True, Buddy Rich. Dave Grohl. Very nice. Dave Grohl is definitely in that conversation. Mm -hmm. I agree. Dave Grohl, Neil Parrish. If only I could remember the drummer who wrote that famous line in that song about the air tonight. <laughs> you know, Jeff Collins, I think his name is. Jeff, Jeff Collins. What? What? He's a he's actually a criminally underrated drummer. Phil, most people don't realize what a fantastic drummer Phil Collins actually is. It was interesting because I was in another music stream the other night. And um, a good friend of mine in that stream was playing a lot of Tom Collins. Tom Collins is definitely his name. Dave Tom Collins. That's that's J Dave Tom Jim Collins. Jeff Collins. <laughs> Jack. The drummer of Tonight Near the Ocean in the Air. <laughs> you know. In the moonlight. In the moonlight. Yes. But most people don't realize. I think Phil Collins is a criminally underrated drummer it, because if you don't, if you haven't listened to early. Um, you know, late 60s and, and 70s Genesis, especially in the Peter Gabriel era. And, you know, even afterwards. And then and then you think about, you know, Phil Collins essentially inventing the gated reverb technique for drums, you know, and, and the sound that kind of defined drums in the 80s. And, you know, most people nowadays think of Phil Collins as like the pussy ballads guy, yeah. which admittedly he had plenty of that and so did Genesis. But most people don't realize just, how fantastic they are yeah or how fantastic phil collins is i mean he can't play anymore which makes it even sadder but i do know that genesis is actually going back out on tour with his son playing drums i believe phil money, money collins. collins true true <laughs> jim davis the cartoonist from garfield he's my favorite drummer <laughs> oh my favorite drummer is tom hanks <laughs> yes my tom <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Tom, Tom Hanks, Hanks is also my favorite drummer. <laughs> I have seen, my favorite band is Captain Geach and the Shrimp Shack Shooters. Mm -hmm. That is my favorite band by far. I I understand that, uh, you know, so I'm saying Phil Collins is metal, metal AF. Have you not heard the song? If you've not heard the song Mama by Genesis, which a lot of people have not heard, and you're like, Phil Collins is a little pansy and he doesn't have any hard music. Please go listen to the song Mama by Genesis and come back education this is an educational education stream right my friends this so is teach where me you... more about teach me more about stuff i don't know about jazz <laughs> young squires young squires tetro gets it tetro you get it i'm for you uh, young squires. gosh um but metal drummers there's a lot of metal drummers too that are very known which is interesting right um uh, it's interesting about that one-handed drummer you know the guy you know the one from death lover that guy <laughs> Uh, I find it I find it very interesting that in metal there's a lot of drummers that I know, but people don't know their names. You know, I think the thing about metal drums, especially these days, is so many people are moving on to programming them. Like oh, I think yeah. that's one thing that's interesting to talk to Sunfire about because obviously she uses an e kit which makes things better. I don't know if she does any type of recording. Sorry, so sorry, sorry, sorry. You're being no, cut off, it. but it's fine because the, the the guest isn't going to get cut off. But we are gonna get get cut off because nobody cares about what we say. Um, Warrior, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Tetro. Muito obrigada. Thank you so so much. By the way, I'm just gonna. Sorry, I'm just gonna interrupt you. Silence for a second. Any donations that you guys uh, are gonna send our way on every Saturday are gonna be split be between Silence and I because hey. Give this man some pay, okay? Look at Thank him. You. Thank you. For look that. at him. Yes, look at look at look how at I him. look, and I don't even have a shower. Yeah, he doesn't have, have a shower. Pug. Now I have a pug on stream with me. Oh! Oh! Pug decided it was time to we be on music. We need more pug. We need more pug. Show him. <laughs> Show him more. I know. 
He is Show more perfect. Bugs. They're like, he is, oh my god, he's the same. Oh my god, he's the same color as you. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 true. He looks yes. kind of like me. I resemble him. Yes, very, strongly very true. As well. Yeah, he needs I that do. one year old. He does. So that's just I what I wanted to say. If you guys, uh, uh, you know, donate then uh, to this to this show, it will be split between us two. So you know, give give a ten viewer Andy some love. You know. That's. Uh, I'm sorry. It's a six viewer Andy now. <laughs> what do you? Why is there? Why doesn't it descend like the twelve days of Christmas? So we need names for each one, like twelve viewer whatever. Twelve viewer blah blah. Twelve viewer Larry. Eleven viewer Neil. Ten viewer Andy. <laughs> Five viewers, Sarah. <laughs> yes, I need that. I like I that. that. Uh, Richard Christie is a badass drummer for sure. You uh, know, I don't. I've always forget his names. One of my favorite drummers, because I listen to a lot of alt rock. I listen to a lot of '90s alt rock, especially, and I like to focus on really underrated drummers. And I always forget the name of the drummer um, for Our Lady Peace who is a phenomenal, phenomenal drummer. What is his name? I'm Googling it because I can't remember. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, hear me talk. <gasps> Warrior, thank you so much. Oh my God, Warrior, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the 32. What do you got to be genius? You are so alike yeah. or so Jeremy cute, Taggart you guys. From Our Lady Peace. This the is other one for the dog. that I also think is, he actually gets um, more love. Um, Darren King from Mute Math, who is another criminally underrated drummer from an alt rock band that a lot of people have only dog treats. That's what I can buy with that. Okay, I'll buy Crash a Bone. With yeah, that. Th those 32 are just for your pug. That's fine, that's yeah. fine, I understand. But yeah, D Darren King, for those of you guys who aren't familiar with him, he's another very underrated but very awesome drummer. Danny Carey for sure. I think Danny Carey is like always in the conversation. I'm sure Sunfire will talk about him. Yeah. Like for me, I, I think that maybe it's, maybe this is, I know that I'm a counterculture guy and like I listen to, you know, a lot of more, I've always been the type that listens to more indie or more alt rock kind of stuff. And it's like, I respect the greats for being the greats. It'd be like, who's a great drummer? And everyone will be like, Neil Peart. And it's like, duh, <laughs> like everybody knows <laughs> yeah. Neil Peart is a great drummer. Everybody knows Danny Carey is a great drummer. And, you know, I think obviously they should be in that conversation. Not Ringo. Come on, Ringo's amazing. Disagree, disagree. Yeah, but it's interesting because, you know, in, in but you, that's what you said. There's a lot of um, drums are now basically e-drums, you know, yeah. or like synth, synth drums. But yeah, yeah. Well, and I, I do a bit of, I do a bit of both myself. I mean, obviously I have an e-kit as well that I'll sometimes play. And, and depending on the song, I'll play stuff in. But once you get the knack of programming a little bit or, you know, like for me, I'll play a lot of drums in with the keyboard so that I have the, the groove that I want or the swing yeah. that I want that feels more natural and then program and fill in that stuff. Simp drums. Yes. I only play simp drums. Blue Man, Blue Man Group, they kind of drum. But there's so, <laughs> they, but th this is the thing. Drums are, even synth drums are extremely good. They're they're Everything very very synthes. good. That's not true. That's not true. It's a saxophone. It's amazing. Saxophone, saxophone yeah. is like is 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 so bad. It's like legit bad with synth. But but drums are part. Like you can have the perfect sound if you if you spend a little bit of money on some on some synth drums. You can make some tracks that sound very real. You know. I'm gonna. I'm, this is this is a task for me for the future. Then is obviously. I need to make some synth sax lines for you. And send them over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I hate it. I legit hate Saxophone it. Saxophone is the bagpipes of jazz. No, oh, that for is fuck's amazing. Sake. No, no. Shut up. Who, who's, uh, listen, we got a ban. I want to cuddle your butt. Can we please ban I him? Love you, cuddle. Exclamation yeah, point ban. Can we get out a shout out for no? Your can we ban him? Ex everybody can ban him. Just exclamation point ban and then his name. Thank you. Ban. <laughs> Saxophone is the bagpipes of jazz. It's just shut up, okay? That's not true. I think it was it was um Jennifer Jess who said saxophone is just a a um a fancy kazoo. <laughs> it's like 
excuse you she said this on stream right and somebody clipped it and sent it over to me and i was like of excuse they me they gotta stir up the drama what what is twitch without the drama Come exactly on. that's that's why we're here that's why our show exists because we want to get we want to get into the the drama that's you know true. the juicy details of uh of the musicians you know because there's drama between musicians too there's not as much drama between music you know twitch musicians as irl musicians but there, you know there can be some drama what is twitch without the drama mixer <laughs> actually speaking of that <laughs> that is a good joke i will give it that however that is not true i actually saw some mixer drama on twitter this morning you did okay there tell is mixer well us. i think that there is there people are starting to realize especially after those numbers came off, that Mixer is not taking off. And so a lot of the partners are leaving and coming back to Twitch. And then apparently a lot of the partners that are left are, you know, are becoming pretty vocal about the political situation going on right now that I don't want to get too in-depth on, on yeah. the show. But, you know, so a lot of people are doing that. So it's driving even more of an exodus from Mixer back to oh, Twitch no. at this point. So, yeah, well, and, and I think that sucks, to be honest. I really was hoping, you know, I did, I did streams on Mixer. I know that you did too. Yeah. I think it's good to have competition. Mm. I don't think yes. of YouTube streaming as competition. I no. don't think of, I mean, although they have the numbers, they don't treat their stream community the same way, which is the same way with Facebook or Instagram. They they aren't the same kind of thing. So it's my Facebook. <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> Who's not on the Facebook? Send me a Facebook friend like, okay? I need Facebook Who the friends. fuck watches... No, legit. Who the fuck watches streams on Facebook? Come on. Uh, and speaking of that, tonight on Saturday Night Streamers, for after ever in the chat... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I mean, but legit, dude. For after like, ever is, is legit doing a show on Facebook. I can't. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you something. Listen, if you are a streamer and you stream on Facebook, stop it right now and start streaming on a different platform. Anything, even fucking Periscope is better than whatever. Does Periscope still exist? Or you Does now. I don't exist? know. I don't even know. But it's still better. Listen, I don't know if it still exists or not. But Periscope or you now and all of those, even those are better than, than, than Facebook. Just stop it. I love this, Bazzy. So many people on Mixer are two-faced. Everyone is fake positive because they want to be better than Twitch. Yeah. And they want to pretend Mixer doesn't have problems. I feel like everyone's fake positive on Twitch too. Fight me IRL, bitches. All you all y'all good vibes, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> it's all lies. It's all lies. Uh... No, I, I understand. I've, I have heard nothing but crap about vibes since last week since I brought vibes. up that term. Oh, I you hate don't that think word, means, don't you? I still I still have never heard that. It's because it's a word that is used misused so often and is now meaningless. I've never had a vibe in my life. You never had, truth, yeah, like, you don't even know what now. vibe even means, Silence. Shut up, okay? I already said I don't do drugs. That's the problem. All y'all addicts in the chat know what vibes are. I mean, come on. Excuse you. Are you calling me a drug addict? <laughs> that's Listen, true. Everyone that's that would, in the past, that okay? Enjoys, it's in the everyone past. Everyone that enjoys this stream is a drug addict, all right? If you like music exposed, <laughs> you are clearly on drugs. You are all clearly right. on drugs. Very clearly. <laughs> that's... <laughs> I like I, I I love that Sun will be like um, I'm a PG streamer. What what the fuck are you talking about? Mm. I've seen her derp a little bit PG thirteen. Okay, I've seen a little bit of that. <laughs> I understand. Bort, how dare you forget the how show? How dare you? Ban he Bort. forgot he forgot the show and he forgot that he's on it. Hey, you what? You were supposed yeah. to be here last week. Where were you? I had to play the guitar for you. <laughs> I had to put on. A, That's right. I had to put on the mustache and be like. Ooh. Dude, it was really weird. You yeah. should have seen the part where she gave herself the giant gauges. Yeah. It was really kind of gross. Uh. She's like, "Hey, watch chat." <laughs> Just kidding. Uh. <laughs> Oh god. Okay. I don't know. Self gauging is a little scary. It's a scary idea. I don't know. I'm, I know some people do it, but hey. I'm hey. gonna let uh, Sun in. Um, I'm gonna let her in. She is. She let is. Her in. She is. Yeah. I'm gonna admit her. You know. I'm gonna it's admit her. I'm gonna admit Sun. I'm gonna be so admitting. Um. So she can. Whoa! What is this? Thank you so much. Do you need me to log out and back in again, like last week? <gasps> What, last week? I thought it was tonight. No, Bord, it's next week, actually. I was kidding. Next I week. am kidding. It's next week. Don't worry. 
Your vibes are Thank so off so right much, now, Thank you so much, Warrior, for gifting that sub to board. I really, really, really appreciate it. <laughs> I mean, Sarah went the full nine. She bought a van. She spent weeks converting the van to look like Bort's van. She Very saw true. Her ear okay, sun, sun is sun. Sun is not muted. I need. Sun, can you can you mute yourself? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> hey, PG PG streamer yells fuck. <laughs> So PG. <laughs> She's very PG. I love her. Okay, love listen, listen, guys. Um, yeah. We're gonna. I'm gonna present to you our guest of today, and I'm so, 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 so excited to have her today. She is super, super awesome. Very talented. Um, you're gonna see for yourself, actually. And she is the hot. Listen, if it listen. If Silence Noise says that there are other girl streamers on Twitch, I don't care. She is. There are no women on Twitch. No, listen. She is the hottest, hottest drummer on Twitch. And I'm so sorry, every every other drummer, okay? You lost. Nobody cares, okay? And we're going to have Sunfire now. And she is so amazing. You guys will see. And then after her performance, we're going to talk a little bit to her and ask the juicy questions. So yeah. please give it up, guys, for Sunfire TV! I think I'm live now, right? Guys, hold up. Let me just, uh, there it is. Okay, good. I muted the stream. Good, because I thought, you know what? Here, I'm the worst streamer. Uh, we're going to start playing right now, guys. I have a good song for you. <laughs> here we go. Welcome. Uh, I mean, not welcome. Thank you for having me. Uh, you guys are awesome. So here we go. I'm going to play two songs for you, and then I'm going to jump over and rage you guys. That's how it's going to be. Here we go. All right. Ready? I want you guys jumping around. Everybody in my stream right now, go over to Sarah Jazz and watch the podcast right there, okay? Let's do it. Let's get a shout out for Sarah's stream. Go over there, click in there if you want to see them react to everything. And yeah. Cool. Let's go. Check this out. transition to the next song right now are you ready okay here we go here we go sarah's favorite get ready
Doggo's here. to Sarah's channel. Chum, I'm gonna not a gnelf. I'm gonna not a gnoblin. I'm a gnome, and you've been no. Good with that. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo. All right, guys, thank you so much for letting me perform on the show. Uh, I think it's good for me to jump on um, the podcast. So I'm basically just going to let me know. Give me a, a, a red light. I'm muted. Hey, oh, okay. Hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. It was awesome! It was so good, as always! That was so good! Thank you so much for that. Uh, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna raid over now. Okay, awesome. Do it. Uh, it. Okay, in the meantime, uh, Silence is gonna is gonna uh, give you the bulletin board, so that's what uh, I'm well, gonna Well, first, you. before, you, before okay. you go into the video, let me, let me give an announcement again real yes. quick uh, for all of you watching. If you're watching this, or if you have friends that you know that are, are music streamers or musicians, even if they're not necessarily on Twitch, um, the, the Music Exposed Bulletin Board or our discovery process is really about sharing news people need to know about. So if you have new music releases, if you have a new album or EP coming out, a new single coming out, if you have a charity this stream shit coming I'm out, out, if you have um, anything this that you feel I'm like you need to know, a special thing. event, something um i can't guarantee we'll get everything on it but please check my twitter um um weekly or check the website musicexposed.show send me an email let me know in advance if you have something that we should know about and going forward as you can see people have asked questions about the outfit and so to introduce our segment i've finally gotten the work done so let's go into our uh, music exposed <sighs> Oh wait, oh. 3D code thank warrior Thank you so dropping much, bombs. son, for that raid. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Before we uh, uh, go yeah, into this thing, oh my God, thank you, warrior, for gifting those 20, 20 gift, gift subs. subs. Oh my God. Thank you so, so much. Thank, thank, you, so much. thank you for gifting nice. those subs to Never Muse, Nebelgespenst, Nandu, Raz, uh, Peter, uh, Paterian Stalker, uh, Silence Hunter. Oh God, Silence, you're in trouble. Um, <laughs> Migosh, Twitch Hunts, uh, Diablo Rojo, Coman, uh, Fernando Neto, Mad Dog, Let Me Kiss Ya, Ursu, Freyres, Morfineos, Stuart Lewis, Gcon TV, Magics, and Birdie. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Warrior. And thank you, Sun, so much for the raid. Um, let me just uh, let, uh, let's, let's, yeah. let's hit it and go into discovery real quick before we yeah, get Sun exactly. on. Yeah, exactly. Before so we have Sun, let's just really roll the video. Videos. I'm going to roll, roll our intro. this amazing video. Let's go.
Amazing. Well, I know. Hit it all. We needed an intro that was fitting of all the people that that give us bulletin board announcements. So let's go into it so we can get to Sun. So new this week, we have a new single that just dropped from Esky Beats called Arrival. Um, and if you want to find these, uh, the Spotify links or the Distro Kid links or any of that stuff, you can find it on our site at musicexposed.show. So Esky Beats new single is dropping this week. It's called Arrival. Also dropping this week, if you like that genre of more dance house techno kind of stuff, Kintsuku, who is another amazing music streamer, she's been having some tech problems, so she's going to be back on Twitch. I believe this week is her first week back. She just did a guest vocal on a classic song um, from Pax and Rui Da Silva. Um, so make sure that you go check that out, twitch.tv slash Kintsuku, and I'll have the Spotify and DistroKid and um, Beatport links up on the musicexposed.show site. And then finally this week um, from Bethan Lemas, also known as Corny Ears, twitch.tv slash Corny Ears. She just dropped her entire new album, which is called Evangeline. It is fantastic. I've actually had a chance to listen to that. She's such an amazing artist. She's an amazing guitarist. She also plays cello and harp on stream as well. That I've seen her play a lot of different instruments but a fantastic album if you're looking for those chill vibes. So again, this week, Esky Beats, Kintsuku, Corny Ears with the new drops. If you have announcements that I should know about, streams, releases, anything, make sure you hit me up, musicexposed.show, or on the social medias. Awesome. Well, and now we're going to go and look at... And I'm going to let herself We're going to look at Sunfire? We're going to look at Sunfire. Hey, I'm, I've been looking at Sunfire the whole time. I was like, uh, she hot as fuck today. Anyway, she's hot every day. But um, we're going <laughs> to... We're just not going to ask her any questions. We're not gonna, Sunfire, we're yes, just going to stare We're just going to stare at her hour. on a pedestal. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to let her herself uh, explain to you who she is, what she does, and all of that. Welcome, Sunfire. Yeah. Hello, hi. <laughs> I was just laughing. Wait, do I have a body? Oh, you I have, thought I was gonna have a cool body. You have a you. You get your own body. You get your own body, kind of. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. Well, everybody, welcome. I mean, I keep saying welcome. Why is that? Like, it's stuck in my. <laughs> I can't. Son, mute your <laughs> mic, can't... please. We're here to watch only. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Wait. So you can hear me right. Everything is good, yeah, right? Everything sounds great. Everything is awesome. amazing. So, so yeah, tell us about you. you. Thank you for having me. Uh, I am Sunfire and I play drums on Twitch. Um, pretty much uh, I'm mainly known for drumming on Twitch at this point. And uh, I'm from Costa Rica. Uh, I lived in Brazil, Dominican Republic and Panama. And I know Portuguese, Spanish and English. Um, I What else can I tell you? I have a doggo called Sammy, Samus. Uh, I am not a PG-13 th streamer, by the way. I don't know who's <laughs> for me. I, I was listening to that and I'm like, I mean, we don't talk about peepees and sex all the time. Like, I mean, I say fuck. And, you know, all like, that, that is totally open PG. Like, that is a big word, you know? Um, <laughs> right. Um, and I think that's it, pretty much it. If you have other, other questions that... You know, no, we don't have out. questions today. We just want to stare yeah, at you today. Yeah, we're just going to stare yeah, at you. Yeah, we're just going to uh -huh. look at you. Oh, should I just do this? <laughs> <laughs> if I do the whole interview like this. Like, I'm Sexy. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, we do more like that. Uh, well, listen, I'm going to ask the first question. Uh, so, son, why the drums and not something else? Uh, well, I started drumming when I was... Are you talking about Twitch streaming or just in general? No, drums. just drums. Just the why drums. the instrument, the, the drums, you know? The drums? The okay, drums. so I just... The I drums? Want... <laughs> I don't know. I... Okay. <laughs> I really wanted to be... Like, I started listening to Linkin Park a lot when I was uh, 10 years old in fourth grade. And mm. I wanted to play that music and I liked it so much. So I'm like, the drums are pretty cool. And then my dad also gave me a drum set without me asking, which is really nice of him. He's like, play. So uh, he just got me the drum set and I started playing it. And then I wanted to keep playing it. I really liked it. I started with also trying guitar, but I, my finger just the coordination wasn't as good for that. So I just stuck with drums and I took classes and all that throughout my life. And I did uh, like talent shows and it just, I don't know. I, it, it's also different. Like it's just very rare to have a female drummer. Not very rare, but like, you know, it's usually yeah. a guy. 
So yeah, I'm yeah, like, sure. you know, I want to be that one girl behind the drums. And everybody was thought it was really cool. I mean, us musicians, like I, I said this the other day, when you're a musician, you want to show people your skills and want you want to show people what you can do with your instrument. Uh, and that's just normal that, uh, of, you know, humans have egos and we yeah. want to show what we can do behind our instrument. And I'm like, man, I'm a female. I can play drums. I want to go on the talent show, get on stage. I want I want people to see me. Like, yeah. I just wanted to show that I can be different and not just, you know, like mostly it's like a male behind the, the kits. So. so tell us, tell us about, uh, tell us a talent show story because I didn't know that about you. So tell us about what what was your first talent show like? What did you play and how did that go for you? Uh, so it was pretty bad, but um, we played uh, Since You've Been Gone by Kelly Clarkson. The Kelly Clarkson? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, um, no, the singer is just not very good at that time. And the guitar was not in sync. It was like, Dee, 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 dee. like it did not sound like a guitar <laughs> and i was decent but not good and no it was bad and i feel bad for everybody that watched but it was just you know first experiences they're always gonna be bad yeah but uh, you get better with time so just always gonna jump in that talent show wagon wagon so you guys did not win the first talent show you were in then that was not a win talent show it's just for you to perform there was no oh, it's just performance right. okay. No, okay there was one that we won and it was fourth place so nice. The only one. What did you play in the one that you won? Sorry? What did you play in the one that you won? I drums. Oh, I'm kidding. Um, I... <laughs> These are the jokes, guys. <laughs> so I played it was Baby uh, shark. It was a whole lot of love by Led Zeppelin. I love playing oh, nice. that. Song. Ooh, nice. And Rage Against the Machine. Was it Rage? I think it was Pearl Jam. Yeah, Pearl Jam. Those two bands are very close. Pearl very Jam and Rage different. Against the Machine. Easy to mix up. <laughs> yeah, it was, what was it? It was like Pearl Jam. I can't remember. Definitely Led Zeppelin. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Um, actually, because you were saying, you were mentioning being a female behind the drums, do you sometimes get, and this is a, a question that I'm genuinely interested in. I mean, all the questions are genuine, but. No, she only asks questions I... she's not genuinely interested <laughs> in at all. But like, as... like, I'm not interested in your answer. <laughs> But like it, it, like as a whammon, I guess. Um, do you sometimes get painfully aware of being a, a female drummer, or like a you know a female behind the drum, especially in, in in the metal, more metal community? Yeah, well, it's just more rare for uh, a, you know female to play metal because usually you got girls that are playing like you know alternative fun stuff. Not that metal isn't fun, but it's uh, more like. Oh my god, you're so like Satan. Like it's just like I don't know. <laughs> yes. Like oh, so badass, I guess. And I'm like, yeah, I like getting called badass. I'm gonna try to work on this uh, so I can make it more badass. And so I'm like, no, but it, it wasn't even that. Like I just started liking that music before I drummed. I was always uh, into like heavier music before I started getting more into drumming. So I was like, well, if I play drums, I want to play the music I like. What do I like? Slipknot, Avenged Sevenfold all these like heavy bands bands so i don't know it just be, it just became that it's not like i started drumming and i'm like i want to be popular so i'm going to play metal no it wasn't that way so it was like thankfully i mean it's it's more rare and more noticeable when you play metal and i mean i thank my dad for my music influences because he kind of just got me into like the like rock rock with like classic uh, led zeppelin and queen and it went from there, Linkin Park, Slipknot, and you know, it's all... Yeah, Linkin, I'm, I'm a big fan of Linkin Park, too. Um, sorry, I was just going to ask one one more question that interests me very yeah. much before before I let Silence ask you questions, because, you know... Shut up, Silence. Um, <laughs> okay, bye! If you want to hear my Latin beat, uh, I can do it next stream, because I'm, yep. I'm not drumming anymore. Well, okay. <laughs> Cowbell, Oop. Um, so, so Linkin Park, I'm just, I'm, do, what did you think of their transition from the, the, the hybrid theory and Meteora to, to going to a more pop scene? Like, did, were you a fan of that when they were trying, were, when they were trying to be more pop and more EDM, I guess? Were you a fan of that? No, I'm not a big fan of that. I really wanted them to just stay how they were at the beginning. That's why hybrid theory is like, I mean, I'm not saying they're bad. Like, I'm just saying I, I, 
like it happens to to so many bands like my chemical romance was like on the emo rock side and then they became so poppy and then uh linking park changed it's fine like they were still good but like yeah. meet like like hybrid theory was so heavy compared to everything else yes um it's like avril lavigne she used to be so cool and badass and like heavier not like super heavy but still and now like she's all pink and stuff like i mean that's not saying pink sucks but like yeah like, i know what you mean I, lo- I love pink you can see my room is all pink but uh I'm just saying there's a lot of artists that start heavy and then they change to pop because they want to be mainstream. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. Like I agree. People. I just wanted to know if if you have the same opinion as me because I'm also a big big fan of 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 Linkin Park, especially Hybrid Theory and you know. Yeah, those yeah. Years, and I yeah. loved playing the entire album the other day. Yeah, like, exactly. That's what I'm asking because you you you're very influenced and you did the 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 tribute stream which which was really really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So I have a really important question that came from earlier in our stream. You probably were on and didn't see this. There's this song and it involves something about the air and something <laughs> tonight. I, could you answer for us because- Earth, wind, and fire? It, no, we, we've had this really <laughs> difficult time. It's something, it goes like in the air tonight. Have you ever heard of that song? And do you oh, know yeah. what the name of it is? What, what is that song? I mean, and what is Phil it? Collins, right? Yeah, there you go, Phil Collins, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for that. Son with the answer. We finally learned after this whole stream that it was Phil Collins in the air tonight. Why, why did it come up? It, you'll have to watch the replay for for that. It's, <laughs> it's a beautiful experience. So, so I, I like this question from the chat and I want to ask it too. I actually personally don't know of a ton of female drummers. Do you have any like female drummer inspirations or role models or somebody that you're like, this is a badass female drummer that I look yeah. up to. Yeah. Um, I don't think I have like. I mean, there's bands with female drummers like White Stripes, but she's so chill to like. You know, I mean, I'm inspired by her because she's different. But um, there's more female drummers on Instagram than there are in bands at this point. Like, probably true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's so like, but there's like very like there are quality of videos. They just upload to Instagram, and that's what they do, and they have millions of followers on Instagram. So. Um, a couple of drummers that I really like are Raja Meisner from Germany, and she plays only Slipknot, mainly 99% Slipknot, and she is badass. Like I, I admire how she plays, and she's really pretty too, and it's crazy. So, so like any anybody that is all like playing the same stuff that I play uh, is gonna influence me in a way. So, and also stuff that I want to get into that is more progressive. Anika is really good too. Yes, yes, and she's more of like a fusion, like everything. She's really good. Yeah. Natal, yeah. I'm reading chat because re- chat is actually. No, go me of go right ahead. No, that's per- that's what we're here for. Yeah. <laughs> is it, doesn't Skillet have a female drummer? But I don't know Skillet very well. And uh, who else has a female drummer? Can't think of any. But yeah, no. I mainly just go on Instagram and I look around. Interesting. Uh, lately, that's what I do. I yeah. didn't know that there were a lot of um, female drummers on on Instagram, or that yeah, Sarah didn't, didn't even believe that a... any other female drummers exist at all. Oh, no, on Twitch, you d- dumbass. <laughs> What, uh, there's another one called Christina. I forgot her last name, but she is also, uh, basically they start as YouTubers and then they switch oh, to cool, Instagram. Oh, cool, 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 yeah. cool. Yeah, they're really good. Now, do you ever do, um, cause you mentioned you did talent shows and it sounds like you played with groups before. Do you ever work with, uh, do you work with any bands or do you do any recording or tracking for uh, projects or anything like that? Yeah, uh, I own a record label called Fire, no, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Well, well I, if you're looking for terrible <laughs> artists, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking for terrible signings, no, I'm kidding. Yes. Uh, yeah, Cristina Sciano. But anyway, so I, I've i been in a band before, and it was like the closest to more professional that I've been, other than talent shows, because the talent shows were for fun, you know. But, right. um, you know, like basement stuff, play with your, your friends, come over, and we perform, like, whenever we can. But this was more of like, hey, guys, we're going to book shows at actual bars and venues, so I've never had performed live before. And this was starting 2016. Uh, it was more of a metalcore band. So if I can compare this to a band that anybody in chat would uh, kind of relate it to, it would be like Kill Switch or As I Lay Dying would be the sure. comparison of my band that I was in. Uh, there was a lot of double bass pedal, like the guy was screaming. So pretty much on the heavier side, other yeah. than like, you know, compared to like Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters next to them was like Britney Spears. But um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's it. I think that's it. The closest I've been to like, professional stuff now how would you well how would you compare um being on stage to playing on twitch oh my god you know i always talk about this because i love the way that 
Twitch has given me the opportunity to create my own schedule, do whatever I want behind the kit, make jokes. Like I can't do that on stage. Like on stage, I was, it's very crazy. Like the, the feeling of anxiety behind the kit on stage, there's people, actual people watching you, looking at you, staring at you as you set up. I'm a girl, so they're looking my butt i think um and it's really <laughs> <laughs> like you're just there and you're like oh I, I hope i don't look like a weirdo here i hope i don't trip and people laugh at me or you know it's just very different so i have a be right back screen where i can uh, turn on and then i can take out the wedgie i don't know yeah uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. and then no but i love having my own schedule i love having my own setup i don't have to deal with like my guitarist being like, oh God, no, can you do that again? Oh no, like, no, can you play, can you play it this way? Or like, you know, being in a band is just a lot of hassle. You got to take your gear to the stage, take oh, it down, right back down. Oh. I left my tom floor, my floor, sorry, my floor tom, my tom floor, what? <laughs> I left my floor tom um, at a venue once and it was closed the next day. So I had to wait until they opened and oh, I'm like, no. dude, I cannot lose this tom. Like it's a big, big floor tom too. Like it wasn't mine. And so, yeah, it's like you have to take the gear, make sure you have everything, like a mental checklist of if you have everything back in the van or in our guitarist, uh, you know, car, he he would always be the one that, was, that would take everything. But it's just that. It's just a hassle. But I'm not going to lie. It's a lot of thrill to be on stage and perform live. Yeah. Like sound check can be annoying and all that. Like, okay, snare. Duh. Okay, Tom. Duh. Duh. Like sound checks and all that i remember it and then like people getting angry like i can't hear myself and because <laughs> you have the monitors like facing you but no it was great i just really like having my own studio and my own performance here the way that i want to control it so yeah that's all. on twitch yeah. drummers don't have to worry about hanging out with musicians <laughs> <laughs> yeah. everybody like I, I i would be one of the people or the people the main person that would take the gear and the guitarist they all have cases but then the singer would just show up like hey what's up guys right Caring. right and i'm like bro can you help that's the me? worst that please. is the like, worst they show up like i got a beer can you go to the van and start taking things out please i hate that's those nice. people i hate people who don't help like when it when, yes. especially like the drummer because the drummer legit has the most stuff to 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 yeah yeah, oh, to carry. Sure. And it's like, oh, hey, I, I have a microphone with me. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> you have a microphone at the venue. Like, Which yeah. takes it, yeah, exactly. And if you have a back line, you're not even taking the microphone down. Yeah, you're just taking exactly. your own instruments. So it's like, okay, Singer just walks off. They're done. It's like, time to find some groupies. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. So tell us about how you started. So when did you start streaming? And tell us a little bit about what it was like when you started. So what what brought you here, first of all, and, and how did you start off? OK, so I was pretty much a PUBG gamer. Mm -hmm. before okay. I remember that, I, yeah. Well, I started actually uh, with art. I just wanted to sit at my desk and show other people what I could do with like my pencils. And then, um, <laughs> um, and then I started doing like Nintendo gaming, and then I started playing PUBG. I got so hooked to PUBG, and I just became like a PUBG gamer only, and then Siege and all that. Basically, a gamer stream. And then um, Clubs came around and was like, he's in chat right now. Shout out, amazing guy. He's also um, gonna be on the show. Yeah, um, Clubs is yeah. gonna be on the yes. show too. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So he just didn't want his drum set anymore, and he was like, no, he he just offered. Me. <laughs> use it he, he, the thing about clubs that i admire is that he likes to help other people like exceed in their skills so he offered me the 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 the, the way to kind of uh sharpen my drum skills and that was having a drum set that i could borrow from him and so i started using it on stream like why not because i did discover music before i started music streams i was still a gamer and i discovered drummers on twitch and i'm like oh, you could play instruments oh my god that makes sense you can do anything like it's just you're you have a camera and you broadcast yeah. it and i want to broadcast something like my guitar so i started with my guitar first and started singing and then i didn't continue that as much but i wanted to do drums so i you know i saw how drumming was different and i was the only female drummer and i think i still am the only female drummer on twitch that I, at least active like four days a week female mm -hmm. drummer uh, sure. because i know that a couple people have already picked it up and that's cool we need more female drummers on twitch that is. um because you know it's just kind of like carrying this torch of like you know it, we're different and yeah we, i don't know we're just i don't know I'm not saying okay we're not gonna get into this topic like totally no, get into it get into <laughs> it <laughs> you're not allowed we, we exposed here yeah. get into it this i'm is... not a big like i'm not i'm not so i want to make sure people know that i'm not like a feminist or anything like that i don't want like like it's, it's all good it's all good in that 
for me. Like, I'm just saying we're just different. Like, there's people that are like, I don't know, uh, pe people that, like females can be seen uh, like they, they downgrade you. Like, if you are streaming and you're female, this happened to me a lot. Like, oh, you're a female drummer on Twitch and you're actually talented. Mm. Like, that is not a compliment. Like, no. Okay. Yeah. Like, because people mostly on Twitch that are females are showing bobs and they're gaming and they're just <laughs> they're chatting or, you know, whatever. But, like, I don't know. It's just that we're seen different, you know? Like, yeah. I don't need equality, dude. Like, I'm just doing my thing. Like, but I just want people to see that females have, like, also the power to to be on that spotlight too yeah, yeah. girl yeah. gamer grill on the drum girl gamer uh, on the drums too yeah. and talented how po no never possible i not function anymore in brain <laughs> True. True. Um, i mean son the, the, the real important question is how do you feel about having a female musician like sarah drag down the quality and <laughs> cause issues for all the other females on twitch i mean it's got to be really difficult to have such a barrier like that, you know? <laughs> Wait, dragging down? It's yeah, kind of true, she though. Just ruins it. She just ruins it for everyone. I, do. I mean, Hi. it's like... <laughs> How do you ruin it? I don't... We're I just don't, joking. I don't know. We're, we're joking, no You don't ruin anything. <laughs> You're lovely. <laughs> wow, see? Yeah, Sun's no. like, how dare you? I will fight you, Silence. She would win. Sun's got strong okay. arms, man. She does. Think, do you think that... We are, because, okay, this is something I'm going to talk about, but it's not super, uh, okay, here it goes. So, uh, a lot yeah. of female drummer, I'm uh, sorry, a lot of female musicians on Twitch, they have the usual setup, a desk, and then they're singing, guitar, whatever, and they're, I'm going to say their style is normal, right? But, like, I wear costumes and yeah. uh, all these things. Like, do you think that me, because Sarah and I also do that, like, you've done, you've done, like, you know, the cosplays, and you look hot. And it's like, do you think that we're seen a little different? Like, maybe, I don't know, it's weird. But we're just doing our thing. Like, maybe people... I don't know, to be honest. Know. Like, are we bringing it down in that way? As in, like, <laughs> I feel like I'm putting a lot of difference into it. I want to twist it. I don't want to be just somebody yeah. behind a kit with, like, a boring I white agree. Like... background. I want my room to be as catchy as possible. Yeah. I want to have lights. I want to have a, a cool costume. I want to have all these things. I just want to be different. Just be different. Yeah. Think, like, Apple. I, oh, I, I think I agree. Yeah, I agree. So, well, how did you? How did you? How did you start the 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 dinosaur thing? By the way, so how did that even come up? Like, you know, I was, <laughs> I was looking for absurd things to wear. I, I just wanted to like push the limits on the things that I could wear. I want to wear a sumo one still, and I have not gone there. But yeah, I'm gonna. That's get gonna it. be hard to be mo to be flexible to play drums with because you'll be all round in your legs. I want to be so dangly. round. I want to <laughs> be like. Okay. So, that sounds like a good quote. Please add that to the Music Exposed quote. I want to be so round, Sunfire TV. I want to be big. Eat ice cream. No, I just, I wanted to do, I just, like I said, I want to be different. I, and not to, like, say that other people are, like, I'm not above anybody. Everybody's different. Like, I'm not saying I'm better. Or I'm, no. Like, everybody's different. Everybody has their, their, their setup the way they want it. I'm just saying I like to push limits and yes. I want to be different and I want to catch attention. Yeah. So how do I do that? colors costumes being loud being different like i i i, I just use my hispanic roots to yeah. like you know speak in spanish and like call people out or like have fun with like merengue salsa like today um and then i don't know i i feel like this is my when i when i picture a music streamer this is like my overall thinking of them like you know just hey guys we're gonna play some songs okay song requests and like they're yeah. super chill Sometimes they get like a little excited but like they're usually the same like throughout and i feel like i just want to go like this i just want to be like spikes like yeah sunfire is just crazy <laughs> like hype and I yeah just, right i don't know yeah yeah but um shots, shots everybody's fired. different though shots and everybody no, but does it's true i agree i agree there's I a agree. lot of there's, I agree 100%. yeah there's a lot of and actually there's somebody in chat fantastic plastics who are gonna have two on the show um and they are yeah, very different cool. too and very you know but there's a lot of just just um you know just sitting behind their desk and having their instrument and just you and know. that's cool they can do whatever they want yeah but Same it's with booby streamers they can do whatever they exactly. want with their body exactly exactly people do whatever they want i'm not upset about it i just want to be different that's exactly all. And like nobody misinterpret louder what I said. yeah louder and no, no 
I feel like somebody's gonna clip me and be like, Stumpfire's talking shit about. No, I'm not talking crap about. <laughs> you, hey, that's okay. We're gonna, that. That. We're, we're gonna yes. clip that. We're gonna clip that. Gonna clip exactly yeah. that. <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna like just, uh, I don't know, edit my what I said. They're gonna edit my sentence yeah. and be like. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, we, we all have Sunfire deep fake en engines that we're using yeah. to make fake just gonna Sunfire put her, clips. Her voice sure. over it and just say random random streamer uh, names, you know? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> like the people on Twitter that, I mean, I feel like there's people on Twitch that they want to be um, getting drama. They want to catch the drama on purpose so they can kind of be like, I don't know, famous for five minutes. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Like yeah. the girl yeah. that was like, if you don't have $5, then get it, like go away. Like who would say that? <laughs> <laughs> like everybody has five dollars i always make sure people know that you don't have to donate exactly. on my stream dude. yeah but music isn't free and art shouldn't be free drumming is an yes. art music is an art it's yes. okay to donate yes. but like drums are gonna... so damn expensive too True. it's like they're the most expensive instrument to buy and maintain and keep going so it's yeah it's yeah. a ridiculous amount of money i don't clubs i don't oh my god Twisting words, see? Okay, can we move on? I love everybody. By the <laughs> okay, way. so let's let's move on to the next question. No, wait, then. So wait, since wait, wait, wait. Can I? Drama, so, yeah, ahead, exactly. Okay, Sorry. Yeah, you're probably gonna yeah. ask the question that I wanna. I was gonna yeah. ask exactly the same thing yeah. since you brought up drama. So, have drama. you ever been involved in drama, either on Twitch or on on Twitter? Have you ever been involved in drama directly? Not on Twitter, and not gonna comment on that. <laughs> okay. So that's a yes. I see. That's There's definitely yes. drama so yes. out there, but it's not it's not terrible. It's not terrible. Yeah. I, I have more love than drama. So I'm thankful for my community that has my back. Yeah. Thank Yeah. That's no, but <laughs> I mean, it's 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 easy to get into drama, especially when you're different and when you're so hardworking as yourself. Oh. I think you're one of the most hardworking streamers just not even music doesn't even you know just one of the most hardworking streamers as you said you you try to keep it you know different you you try to make it different every time you you change your alerts all the freaking time like that yes. you, yeah. you change like you know you're just very hard working you change your layouts sometimes and and you know you have you evolve to this very flashy um stream very colorful and very flashy stream and 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 you i and everybody can see that which which i love like everybody can see that you are very very hard working so thank you for that yeah i mean i'm always thinking about stream it could be a very uh you know it drains you sometimes like uh because what this is the, the the thing that i do the most out of my days and like i'm always thinking of how do i push the line further like how do i how because i want the stream to be the next stream to be better than the previous one obviously you don't want the next stream to be worse than the previous one but i i always want to think like i'm always looking on in the internet like what can i purchase next that is going to be a super like different and i don't know i'm always keeping it different um but i know i understand that becoming a little bit more known in the on the internet instagram twitch twitter wherever it is there's always going to be haters and i i have been uh getting better at like accepting that and there's always going to be people talking about you in a in a bad way some little bit but there's definitely going to be way more positive than bad but people we're humans and we focus on the negative yes. because it brings us down because it's of like course. oh why would he say that and then you know like i i understand people love me mostly and but there's people that are not gonna they, they just say that i'm too loud or oh. too annoying oh. yeah really i could not imagine who would say that legit I don't oh, know. Oh no, I'm not saying nobody nobody said that. I'm just saying those are examples, yeah. but uh or this is something okay, I'm not going to say, but it's happened. Terrible drummer. That's cool, dude. What? We drum differently. What? Yeah. I <laughs> It happened. People are not going to like how you drum. That's cool. <laughs> fine how is that a thing like i i also feel like you're learning all the time like i i I'm remember learning. yeah you're i'm not new yeah you're you're learning and and i i love that because um i see that you're also going getting into jazz a lot now I um know, yeah. and 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 which is which is one of i i feel like together with obviously good metal drumming is one of the more difficult uh, uh drumming techniques and you're just Honestly. learning Honestly, jazz is harder than metal. Yeah, you would say. Yeah, so. I can pick up on the on the fast pace way faster than mm -hmm. like controlling yourself with like different changes of like toms and snare, and it's it's definitely more like I was trying to play like a little bit of like merengue or something, and you got the cowbell, you got the cymbals, you got the hi hat, you yeah. gotta control yourself more. It's kind of like 
I don't know. I feel like metal is more straightforward unless you're playing Dream Theater and it's uh, progressive metal where there's a lot of changes going on. But that has to happen with practice and memory. Not right. not going to happen right away. Like people that request uh, the Dance of Eternity. I don't know if you've heard it on my stream. And I go, yeah, no. Uh, not <laughs> uh, but I know it's just, it, you know, or, you know, through the fire. Do you have any hard songs like that you do practice that it's like, all right, you get kind of maybe not the troll songs, but songs that are way more challenging that you bring and you play on stream and if people got them you can be like yep i can play that yeah so that's what i was yeah basically i was gonna say through the fire and flames i can play it better than how i used to play it before mm -hmm. and i'm not gonna be the best at playing it but i can play it better than before and that is something that people think that is like wow so i like to wow people and i'm not gonna lie i've sat behind the kid hours to improve myself on a song that i want to kind of just show people that i can do it because people that if you're a troll or not it doesn't matter because there's people that are going to request like bleed which is like a triplet with your feet type of song and it's just crazy you can't i cannot play that yet guys don't request that right now <laughs> maybe in like a year okay. no but no um like i want like that's why i learned caravan and i still mm -hmm. do not i don't play it yeah. like completely 100 percent well yet but i'm getting there and I wanna, I wanted to learn Caravan because it's mostly people know that's the, the movie Whiplash and right. they're like, oh, you can play Caravan. And so I go, yeah, dude. But like, you know, a lot of people didn't, no, I don't think I didn't, I didn't have anybody complain about it. Maybe they did not t chat if they didn't like it, but nobody, <laughs> I don't have a lot of trolls, honestly. It's just, that's why it's like funny because if I had a lot of trolls, I get used to the hate more, but because- When you have good mods, person, you have good mods too. True. Yeah, mods are, yeah. It's one guy that was like, I don't know. Like, you're not playing songs for free anymore? And I'm like, no, I closed the queue. Frick! You know, they were really upset. Like, they were like, I wasted my time. And I, you know oh, what? wow. Okay. Like, why would you waste your... You're here to be with me. Don't, yeah. It's not I'm wasting. Clicking on websites is hard. It's I mean, hard not PG, sorry. Fuck! <laughs> I fucking wasted my time. They were, like, so upset. And I yeah. was like, but, but you didn't so waste your stupid. time. You've been enjoying, right? The stream? That's the point. Right? right? It's not for you right. to... I mean, I guess I don't understand the viewers. I mean, I don't have those because, you know, I, I don't do... Because she doesn't music. have viewers. Because I... Oh. Exactly, because I don't have viewers. <laughs> Ten viewer Andy! <laughs> I do I do variety so so music streams are very you know I never do like the whole the whole request thing but I used to do it and I also felt that that some viewers just are there to hear their song and then they're gone it's very interesting right. to me right yeah. like why does do those people exist <laughs> like one streamer put it this way like uh, I, I admire this drummer and he was just like uh, guys the reason you should be here is to enjoy yourselves and be part of the community aspect of the stream and enjoy having fun, like not being here like antsy, like when is the raffle open? Like when, yeah. cause I do free raffles sometimes, like not everything is free. If you want a song guaranteed right away, that is a donation song. So like, you know, if you're there, like, God damn it, I can't, I can't wait any longer. It's been two hours. Like, <laughs> dude, be here for me and for my music and for yeah. the drumming, not for your song only, which is cool. I can play your song. I want to, but not just that. Yeah, but it, it's so I have a question. I wanted to ask a question related to what you were saying. So you stream four days a week right now. Do you have like a practice routine or do you practice in between streams? Because you mentioned learning new songs or like what does that routine look like for you? Or does the stream kind of serve as your practice? Yeah, so the stream is mainly my practice. I do have days like my days off. Uh, I take two days a week off. That is uh, Tuesdays and Fridays. And if I have some time, I usually like to disconnect from everything. I do check my phone here and there to see like what's going on on Twitch or not. Sometimes there's not even uh, a Twitch uh, presence at all in my days off because I like to disconnect completely, like to just drain myself off mm -hmm. from Twitch so I can like start from zero the next day. Uh, there's days that you just got to do that. You just I don't want to look at Twitch at all. I don't want to look at Instagram. Sometimes, yeah, usually I do I like to post stories of, of Sammy, like on Instagram, like people like people are so like excited to see Sammy on Instagram. Um, but I don't spend a lot of time practicing off stream. I like to just like couch potato. Like I just that's yeah, it. Like right. I like to watch Netflix. I want to lay on my couch with Sammy hanging out. And yes, yeah, sometimes I will spend a couple hours on the kit. But usually the stream is my practice. Sure. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. So I don't want to, I want to do this now, Sarah. I want to bring it up since last week we ended on the embarrassing clips. I think we should show 
the clips that we have. Yeah. Prepared. Okay. Is we have two actually. We have two embar yeah. uh, embarrassing clips that uh, Sun showed us. So you want to do this before? <laughs> a, not as an yeah, ending. Not as an ending yeah, note, but as an in between it. note. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, we have two beautiful clips that Sun sent us. Uh, I asked her, do you have any embarrassing clips uh, or anything like that? So uh, here you go. Uh, I mean, I'm very excited to see them because I haven't seen them myself. I thought I will just, you know, just... Uh... I haven't either, so it's yeah. fresh for yeah. me too. Okay, well, let's watch it then. Have you seen the shows? Um... <laughs> It's not incredibly embarrassing. It's just that I was running with a knife and my microwave almost exploded, thinking I thought like it was gonna be like fire. It was just butter. <laughs> I had butter for way too long, and it like it just went and it, and it exploded. Yeah. And then we have yeah. uh, this other clip, which is uh, you know Sun, um, you know knowing things. <laughs> oh God! Wait, 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 wait! That is Puha. Puha said it first. Yep. Not a continent, not a country, it's a continent. Hold up, guys. Wait, 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 wait. Is Antarctica a freaking continent? <laughs> <sighs> what? Who, who, what? Okay, fine. I guess I missed that part. Come on. God damn it. God damn it. Guys, please don't put this on Reddit. I am not that stupid, I promise. I forgot God about damn Antarctica it. being a continent. It's a... It's God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. The, the mods like to use that now. Like, still to this day. You see how my setup was different back then? Yeah. That was last year? I don't know. Yeah. And they go, like, you know, behind the stream elements, you can pop, like, sound effects. So sometimes I hear, like, I forgot about Antarctica being a continent. <laughs> did I forget, or did I ever get taught that in my life? Like, just... just bad mm. bad to be fair i don't know that anyone ever talks about antarctica really unless you're That's watching true. like a penguins documentary or something yeah oh. there is sarah's funny clips every other stream on this channel <laughs> hey literally everyone uh everyone <laughs> Yes. Uh, so, so Silence was actually interested in all the um, in all the, the the collabs you have been do doing, like especially yeah, with like, I did, big people. You, yeah, you had so tell us a story because I know I can, I'm forgetting the name of the band, but you had some big collabs. Like, didn't you get a shout out from Mike Portnoy? And tell us about the kind of recognition you've received over the past couple of months from some of the musicians that you love. Okay, so uh, that shout out wasn't me; it was Thomas and Matt Gaddy. Oh, yeah uh but that's cool like um the thing that you can do now on twitch is that you see these musicians jumping on twitch and they're touring musicians and they have a channel and tw like you know they start off slow like smaller and then you know they get bigger but like i mean mike shinoda from lincoln park like he already has like thousands or maybe like 600 i don't know around a thousand viewers like there's no way for him to notice me but with matt from trivium which was one of my favorite bands matt heafy like he like I don't know. I think he just found my channel and then like I, he noticed me in chat and for some reason he was like, oh my God, Sunfire, hi. And then I'm like, huh? How do you know, like what? How do you know me? And then I don't know. I think he just found my channel, rated me one time. He really liked it. I so I'm so honored that Matt really liked my, my stream. And so it's like having people that you admire like that, that are in a band that you like is, is crazy. Like I'm not fangirling or anything, but yeah, a little bit. But it's just the fact that it's crazy that Twitch. Can oh, I would. That. I don't blame you. <laughs> it, it's like that that tool. Twitch is the tool for me to talk to bigger people. Like with Jared Dines, he is a YouTuber that I used to be like watching since like 2014. He makes funny videos, and he has like I don't know two million followers or something. Uh, sorry, subscribers on YouTube, and he's he's pretty big on YouTube and now on Twitch, and so. He also noticed my stream even before coming over to Twitch because I was in one of his videos. He was just I don't know. Um, he he like he know he like likes likes to post like riffs on Instagram and then he's like, okay, drummers, you can uh, play to this riff and then I'll put you on one of my YouTube videos. So that got a lot of views and then people came from his video to my stream and then I don't know. He I think he might have noticed me 
in a way that because I was I just want to be different. I want people to like remember the the neon the color. Yeah. Maybe that was something that's something that I I think about and I want people to like remember me. So that's what something that Dan does, uh, says a lot. Dan from Tesseract. He's like she's really neon. Her stream is very colorful and and, and those are just things that I want people to think and say. Yeah. So I want people to remember me that way. So Dan, he really liked my stream. He wanted to do a collab. Uh, he's uh, the singer from Tesseract, one of my other favorite bands, and it's just really crazy that tool, the, the tool of Twitch giving you that vehicle of like connecting with that person that you thought you would never be connecting with, uh, that you listen to their music for many years and you're like, holy crap, he, it's just, I, it's still, I cannot process it still, but like, I don't know, it's just crazy. Like when he like shouts me out or... Yeah, that's awesome. I don't know. Uh, Daniel Tompkins from Tesseract. He, yes, yeah, just chat is asking. But you might not know Tesseract if you don't like like prog metal. But it's like basically my niche. I know people have like different views on like who's famous and like you know. Yeah. Oh, he's not famous. I don't know him. He is famous to me, so it it doesn't matter if you don't think like who, like oh I don't know him. But what it what is important is that you like you know it's kind of like your niche basically if you have a jazz like a, a jazz person that is really big in your niche sarah and yeah. he noticed you wouldn't you be like in super excited about that yeah a hundred percent hundred percent so yeah. it's kind of like my niche like you know the metal peeps and yeah so I don't know. so what is one of the things that you hate about other streamers That uh, face. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> the face. <laughs> I'm shocked you went there after the rea the drama I reaction. I don't hate anybody. Right. What do you, what do I hate about people? Hate is a big word, sir. Um, <laughs> Those are something I that hate. annoys you. Okay, let's say annoyed because obviously hate is a big word. That's very true. Is there anything that annoys you about some streamers or something? Annoys me. <laughs> I really I can't think of anything. She's so um, wholesome. She's so wholesome. I, don't I know, love guys. it. I, I can't think of anything. I don't hate. I don't hate anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I I no no but and I, no it sounds stupid and it sounds corny and sounds cliche but okay dislike what do I dislike let me think I don't know like um we'll give you we'll give you some examples because last week I went on with the horse drummer no. Yeah, who is the worst drummer? Oh, oh no, we're not going to go there. Come and on, we silence. No, no, we no, no, no. <laughs> I was, that was the chat said that. No, but like for me, for example, last week, one thing that drives me crazy is streamers who are all about the vibes. I brought that up last week because the I don't vibes? feel like that means anything. Yeah, he hates when I've people, said that for some reason, silence is like, oh, I hate I when somebody's like, oh, positive vibes or bad vibes or anyways, any, like, any, anything, up. like anything shut that is up. like the That's word vibes. Oh, God, there's a clip of me making fun of the people that say, ooh, <laughs> yeah, Okay, there well, you there go. you go. There you go. That is she annoying. Hates ooh -woo streamers. She doesn't, she doesn't like the ooh -woos. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> uh, you understand why? I thought you were a uwu a streamer fan. yourself. I, I'm. Have you looked at me? This is clearly my uwu face, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! No, you gotta, you gotta do like head tilt, head tilt with the, the, the hand. I don't take enough selfies to to have my poses down. That's my problem. I'm just fashionable naturally. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I can't think of anything. On really. a good note, on a on a on now on the other side, uh, which are who's which streamers do you, uh, or better maybe even drum streamers, um, inspire you the most on on Twitch? Okay. Well, the thing is, I don't like naming people because then other people might be like, oh, she didn't mention me, you know? Uh, yeah, that makes sense. So, I'm just gonna say one. Okay, so the one that I would choose from all of them would be Floop because he has really good energy and he is very, very good at what he does and his lighting and all sure. that. And that's it. Like, that's that's my top drummer. Cool. Okay. Nice. But then Mr. Greggles, ah, so many people. <laughs> that's it. How dare you? I'm sending him a tweet right now. I'm like, <laughs> Sunfire, <laughs> Sunfire said Mr. Greggles sucks. On oh, my no. I like them all. Like, Greggles' setup is so cool. And then SP Loves Drums playing is amazing. And, 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 um, 
No, I'm just gonna floop is superior to everyone else. <laughs> Mr. Greggles, everyone else, just be aware. We know what's up, okay? And then Dan is so sweet and so caring. I don't know. Oh, Dan is, yeah. I get him and his coffee all the time. <laughs> He's yeah. very, very chill. Very, very yeah. chill. Um, I find it interesting that so many of the drum streamers on Twitch are like the super techie people. It's like True. Flute, Mr. Greggles, like all of them are like yeah. engineers. We have C4 coming on the show. He's another one that's like super yeah. techie. It's, I don't know what it is about drummers being super techie. It's it's something that I've talked about with my friends and uh, my mods about uh, how I would I would have, like I, I jumped on programming when I was like in college and I started with like, uh, um, I, don't, I don't know. I wanted to learn more like, Ruby and stuff, and I, I wanted to program things. Imagine if I had the skill to program my own uh, drumming machine app where it's like, oh, it lights and like it's so cool that they can do that, but I don't have the capability to do that. I don't, I'm not talented enough to like program. So I wish, you know, that's cool, but I can do what I can. That's it. I'll do what I can. But they do yeah. what, what, you know, like everybody has different skill sets. And that's so very true. Can, yeah program and they're developers that they can make, do amazing things with their stream. Yeah, it's crazy. I can just add posters. Did you, you can put on paint. You can paint yeah, yourself. Uh, paint, yeah. Yeah, that's true. You can put on paint and you have this very colorful background and just, you know, just evolving more and more. Um, did you ever get a really dumb collab or sponsorship um, proposition? Proposition? Is that how you say it? Yeah. Have you ever been uh, propositioned? Have you ever been propositioned? <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, this this brand that I'd never heard of before did not respond to them because I, I wasn't really interested. I think I'm okay with what I have so far, unless I don't know something bigger comes along, uh, which I have in mind already. But uh, I'll talk about it when I'm closer to it. But yeah. That chair guy. What? I can't even remember. Chair guy. The guy that. There guy was a chair that was. Guy. Or, like was he uh as like, like a gaming chair company wait those emails about feet count yes what? absolutely yes, yes. absolutely yep. did not answer to them but uh yeah what I the fuck is it with all... feet guys all right i'm gonna i'll go off you know what feet guys if you like feet you're fucking weird i'm not afraid <laughs> I mean, it's just hey, no kink shame weird. hey no kink shaming uh, i, I will kink shame you no kink shaming come on silence <laughs> don't be like that fucking weird i don't think you're weird i just think it's different like if you like yeah. toenails oh my God. that's interesting. i i like puppies and yes uh, chocolate like who hates I don't puppies <laughs> I mean, <laughs> man, I've never been on a stream where somebody's like, you know what? I hate puppies. I mean, it's so okay to nobody's. like feet, but it's not okay to ask random women on the internet. Just, you know, send feet pics. That's not okay. You know, Is there the a people who this? like feet are always the weirdos that'll do that shit. Oh, shut it's up. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the feet guys that are going to be sending that message. Okay, I'll <laughs> take I'll take it. Hit me up on Twitter. Cancel me. I'm done. I'm fine. <laughs> Silence is. This your is... feet guy. You're weird. <laughs> Silence so, is let me, canceled. Let me tell you, I, I I was really I was excited by reading the email how it started, but then it just uh, so it was like Sunfire. I've been lurking your stream. I, I watch it. I love it so much. You're so good. You're so talented. I love it. And then it was like, I have a proposition, and uh, let me know if it's okay. If not, don't worry. <laughs> but. I would love for you to take pictures of your feet. And there's an example that I've attached of feet positions that you can try. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was pictures of I feet. appreciate the attention to detail. They're like, here's some positions. Here's Dude, some examples. It was like a foot on top of the other one. It was a foot like just on the, I don't know. I can't remember the pictures, but it was like giving me oh examples of what to try out for me to send him the pictures. And he wasn't paying. Oh yeah. Wait, did he, uh, uh, yeah, money was involved i didn't want to take that money like no how much did no, he I offer mm, i can't remember because he said I'm, I'm willing to pay lots of money for this yeah and i'm like i just i'm not like that like i don't want to earn the money that way because i remember i remember uh i got a proposition like that too on my in my instagram dms it's always instagram it's always instagram for some reason and yeah. he was like yeah feed pigs i was like um genuine question how much would you actually pay for that i'm not interested but how much would you pay for it at? or like how much yeah. do people pay for that and he said between 100 and 200 dollars per pick good oh. lord the hell how is that a th that's so expensive it's just rich guys that have feet fetish that's it 
Yeah, but it's so like expensive. Poor guy that doesn't have. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't have the charge the per to toe. <laughs> Yeah, they just have to stick to like YouTube or like, I don't know, Google Images. Yeah. Now the question is, if you were going to take a feet pic, would it be before or after stream? Because after stream, it's going to be all gross, <laughs> sweaty and drumming. Yeah. So which is, be which is better? Hey, weird feet people watching the stream, which is better, <laughs> post or pre or post drum stream? I think um, there is a thing on Twitter that this girl got offered, uh, please, I will pay a lot of money if you send me your used underwear. That's yes. freaking Gross. Because it's like I know women. Like it's just gross, man. I'm a woman. It's terrible. I mean, anyway, um, you know. <laughs> again, you just the king. Pay like six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars for a used panty. Six hundred or a hundred? Six. Oh, six hundred. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. That's a that's a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> women are gross. So, so son, when are you becoming a full-time exercise streamer? Uh, never. I just, I want to do it on Sunday. I, I think my drumming is like my main content, honestly. Really? <laughs> yeah. Like, what if I talk like this? I'm like, I totally like, I would totally. I like wish that. you would talk like that all the time. Yeah. Be that would be oh amazing. I love that. Yeah. Hmm. Ah. Do you want to go like get some cocktails after the show, son? Oh ah. my God. <laughs> Mm. My Uggs are like totally muddy. Yeah. Uh, nope, but exercise. Don't talk only. about your feet on stream. You're going to get weird emails after this now. <laughs> all the people yeah. <laughs> sending yep. us on all the, all the whispers and <laughs> Instagram DMs. Do you the ever? I, 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 I triggered the chat. First, the exercise streams need to come back. Oof. I mean, son, Oof, son, triggered. son, listen. So, I, so, okay, as uh, you are a hot female, right? You're a hot person on the internet, public person on the internet. Do you get also the the D pics on Instagram? I don't. What? Oh, yes. oh, you, you should you should have lied. You should have lied. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Oh. You don't? <laughs> Wait, am I the oh, only no. one? What the hell? No. Calvary, you're going to open my DMs from now on. Calvary's going to look at the pee -pees for now from for me. But you don't I get Instagram pee pee's. Dude, I am so blessed. What? Why? Lord. How is that a thing? Why? I don't because understand. Because I'm, I'm not pretty enough for pee -pees. Oh, shut up. Oh, That's, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Boo. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> I don't want to keep it to yourself. Please send me pictures of pancakes, the ones that are fluffy that Japanese made. Oh. And, uh, and uh, what else? A... <laughs> Hedgehogs, yeah, puppies. puppies. Yeah. So I have a que I have a question related to Instagram that I wanted to ask. This one was specific to me. So you like to post these stories, and I don't see anyone else on Instagram do this. Of when someone like you'll have someone who literally goes through and like likes all of your posts or yes. something. So one are time... you doing are you doing that because you like it, or are you doing oh. it because you think it's weird? <laughs> <laughs> oh my no, I. I, okay, I think it's it's um I don't know. I don't think the only reason I do it is because it takes up my entire screen on my phone. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, this is cool. I can make it's it's definitely weird at when it's more than cuz that's like around 10 likes. My yeah. entire phone screen was like, no, maybe like 7 likes that fit on the screen. So as long as it fits on my full like can't, like full How do I explain this to chat? Do you know what I'm, the, do you know yeah, the what I'm talking screen. about? Yeah. yeah. Like, Full, full phone screen of Instagram, like same person, like, 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 same person. So I take a screenshot of it, say thank you on my story, and that's right. it. But if it's that, like, one time this guy liked it, nine photos, one guy, well, nine, no, sorry, 90 <laughs> photos. Sorry, I can't even, my brain is 90 fired. in a 90 row? 90 photos liked by the same person. He went all the way down to like my first picture, what? and he liked 90 what? photos. And I'm like, oh, I got 90 likes. Let's see. Oh. I bet it was the guy who asked for pictures of your feet. <laughs> uh, yes, that's what happened. He was going through looking for feet pics. Dude. Yeah, Sammy wants to play. Um, no, but yeah, like, it's just, I, I like to just say thank you. Whatever, they, they think it's... 
Yeah, I, I think it's it's actually like nice. I I just you know I I think it's nice. I don't think it's like because yeah. she thinks it's creepy silence. You're, because I, it's not ninety photos. I'm sorry. Apparently, yeah. I'm the only controversial one on this panel <laughs> that'll ask the controversial questions. That's fine. I'm fine uh, with that. If you would like to shout out on my Insta story, please. Like, All right. At least everyone afterwards, just go like literally every one of Sunfire's pictures. I don't know. <laughs> at least seven photos that'll fit on my phone screen. That's right. Oh, by the way, like because because shout. Shouting out your Instagram. Um, can can uh, some, one of my mods please shout out her Instagram? But also, um, your YouTube. What do you do on YouTube? Uh, YouTube. Uh, you, you you are working on the YouTubes too, right? And um, how do you? Uh, what do you do there? I counted it. Do you... Eight photos you gotta like in order to get a shout out. Anyways, um, <laughs> I like doing YouTube for compilations and funny moments. So I pretty much use YouTube for that and covers when I think that, you know, I should do this cover, but I haven't done a lot of uh, drum covers. Sometimes I'm lazy and I just take what I drummed on stream and I like upload it to YouTube, but it, only if it's really good in my eyes. Like some people might be like, oh, that's trash. It sucks. Like, you know, <laughs> trolls on, Insta on you know, YouTube that are gonna like shit on you. Actually, I don't have a lot of people that hate on me on, on YouTube. I'm just not big enough to be like hated on so much yet. Yeah. Only Twitch, because it's what I'm most active on. Yeah. So yeah, I do. I, it's just mainly funny compilations because I like to just get a little bit of what happened that month as, as a memory bank for me as well. Yeah, so yeah. I like to watch them again. That I still watch sense. my 2017 ones where I used to game. Oh, cool! So all the way down, guys. Yeah. Are you ever gonna go back to to to? I know sometimes you do uh, gaming streams, but are, do you think you will ever? Not really anymore? I just been focused on drumming, but I do wanna play a video game with Kelborn in the future. So that's all, it's, it's gonna be a milestone for, uh, I'm, up, I'm, I'm upgrading my gear. So what I like to do, when I upgraded this drum set, I had milestones and those milestones towards the goal, let's say the goal was like, I don't know, a thousand dollars, right? And so every 100, something happened on stream. So if, if we reached the milestone of 100, I had a theme or a tribute happen. 200, another tribute, 300 and so on. So I think that gaming stream is just it's gonna be for this goal but i'm not really gaming anymore honestly it's only gonna be like special st streams for like uh money raising towards yeah. new gear because i i want to upgrade my monitors like my monitors are so uh, not the best right now like i can't even read chat sometimes or like the my symbol my new symbol this drum set is new guys by the way it was fully crowdfunded by my community which is amazing and i love you all for that like I, this new symbol, I can't see the other screen because it's in front of it now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, so, uh, yep. <laughs> I think yeah, I think so. I think her new drum kit uh, deserves a clap. Silence. Yay. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> But that's that's amazing that a, a that a community can be so generous that you can literally buy a new instrument that you were. Well, the thing is, like, it's I didn't amazing. have like rush. I wasn't rushing towards it. It's like people wanted it to happen so much quicker than I thought it was gonna happen. You know, like I had the goal there, and I'm not like, like, oh, we gotta do it now. No, like it it just fills up as people want more song requests because people are paying for their song requests because. Again, I'm performing and people want to pay for my time and my drumming. Like, that's normal as a musician. So yeah. that anytime yeah. somebody donates, it'll fill the goal towards that. And then there's people that wanted to drop like 200 bombs, $200 bombs. I did not ask for that, but that obviously got the kit here quicker. Yeah. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I saw the clips. I got that was the extra awesome. cash. Why not? And I'm like, oh my God, you madman. Go buy some food instead. <laughs> no, yeah. True. Uh, or pay your taxes, dude. Yeah, I always say that. What about your taxes? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I think um, I don't have any more questions. Do you have any more questions, Silence? Do you have like? A... No, I think we're good. We're right at the end. Anything else that you want to share? Um, any upcoming streams? I know when I was on your stream earlier, you mentioned you have a bunch of different theme streams coming up. So share a little bit about what's coming up for you. Okay. So I. So because. This is interesting. All of these themes that I'm doing right now, they were still part of the drum set goal because uh, there were six milestones left to unlock. And in one day, we raised $600. So they all unlocked at the same time. Oh, so wow. I had to layer them nice. throughout two weeks. 
So there's a week more left of what's happening. So to, no, not tomorrow, but Monday, I'm doing, I'm eating a habanero. That's actually the last milestone. We had oh. my last. No. Yeah, my, oh. The oh. last thing I was going to do for the drum set was to eat a habanero on stream and it's going to hurt. You're going to die That's again. Monday. Yep. But uh, we're going to be playing through the fire and flame. So it's going to be all good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> be a spicy song quite literally quite literally oh my god you did you've done that how many times once for sure how many times once ghost pepper in 2017 and i almost died after because the yes. stomach pain after that was incredible i've never experienced that in my life i'm not doing that ever again and then habanero is hap uh, happened sorry in 2018 okay 2019 Gosh, that's it. Imagine that. Lots so of milk. only one time. I oh, and this time I'm not eating a dry habanero. I'm eating a because that I had a dry habanero last year, so that was the first time I tried the habanero. But now it's gonna be a like if I can find it being just not dry, like puffy and fresh. Is there a difference so, between the dry one and the yeah? Yeah, dry is supposed to be worse. Okay, interesting. Oh, because their juices all are, yeah. are, are all out and, you know, the spice is left or something? Well, the the seeds have the most spice. I think Alex would know. He's Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, other than that, I'm doing a Tool tribute and a Deftones tribute next Wednesday and Thursday. Oh, awesome. Cool. Well, Amazing. thank you so much for being on the show, uh, son. Thank you for the for the... Thank you for the raid too, and thank, thank you for you performing so for, for us. Um, yeah. yeah, you're amazing. You. And for, sh for sharing me. the tea, and uh, I, I know a lot of people will be uh, clipping out of context. You know how it is. These communities, they're just a bunch of. I try, I try to stay away from drama. I don't I don't want to steer it. That's why. But yeah. I, I like having fun with you guys. You know, I can kind of just yeah. walk around. I mean, you're, I don't you're, you're... harm when it comes to like not being on the same level yeah of, as other streamers yeah i like being me and that's what's important you shouldn't compare yourself to other people guys exactly please listen to me right now okay if you're a streamer don't compare yourself to other people and don't even think about oh he said this and that it's really hard like like i am really bad at like letting go of what somebody said about me but i'm already letting go let it out plastic bag in the air like uh kitty perry <laughs> uh whatever it is <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, you're but you're a very very unproblematic streamer in terms of drama, so, you know. Um... Because I don't stir the pot. Like yeah. if I were in high school, I'd be like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> were you like, were no, you like that in high school? Were you like that in high school? Were you were you the pot stirrer? Oh yeah, in high school there was a lot of drama. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going to go out and I'm going to be we'll have to get into so that on the next interview saving that. Oh my God. <laughs> Was and it? our next in our next interview will just be Sunfire in high school stream. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, no, I was like, oh my god, that bitch is here. I'm gonna go kiss him. And so she's. Oh, was it about boys the whole time? Ooh. Nah, not so much. One time. One time. Oh no! Did you what? You kissed him? You kissed a guy? I kissed him, and she got mad, and I'm like, oh, yes. No. <laughs> oh, you you were terrible. <laughs> I'm not like that anymore. <laughs> ask Hellborn. I mean, yeah, you, I mean. Ask Sammy. She knows everything. No, I, do. I know you too, and you're super awesome. And uh, I really, yes. I really, really, really appreciate you. And you're super, 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 super awesome. And she's also very, very hardworking and just very unique on Twitch. And you guys should all go follow her right now, oh, if you haven't already. You guys. Right now. Thank you. Well, have... well, you guys have been uh, really awesome with the show, so I I wish for the best, and you guys have uh, been killing it. So thank I'm, you. I'm proud of you guys. Thank you, thank you. Exposing all the muzaks, and thank you. Thank you so that. much for being here. Have a good night. Thank you. <laughs> so I just leave the yes. call, or do I like end yeah, your just, stream? Yeah, no, just, just, just go ahead just, and jump just off. End the stream. <laughs> yes, just leave, the stream. leave the leave the call. Leave us alone. Leave us alone. Bye, Bye. Bye everybody. Bye. <laughs> did you just do the uwu face? I think she did. I think I think she did the uwu face. Oh that my makes god! Makes it even better. Like, it does. <laughs> uwu, uwu girl. <laughs> I think uh, I think uh, silence. You need to you need to sign off with with uh, vibes. You know, especially. You know what? I will do that. Yeah. I'll, I'll make sure to do that. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. I I really enjoyed the songs that she picked too. By the way, like yeah, those absolutely. were nice songs. Yeah, 
Uh, she also Even though Chad us. rebelled that she didn't finish the one, so that's she'll have to finish. You'll have to go pay her to request it to get her to finish it on the next stream. Yeah, just uh, but you have to wait and then get it upset. <laughs> that's right. Do it right at the end after the queue is closed. Yeah, right after, after the then... queue is closed, you're gonna be like, I want this song till the end. That's right. I agree. And then go like seven of her Instagram pictures and then request ninety. Pics. No. Like 90, 90 of them. Like 90. Not all of them. Yeah. All of them. <laughs> she didn't finish anything. <laughs> That's not true. Uh, well, this was fun. I really enjoyed it. And I really liked uh, that Sun was on <laughs> and that she, you know, shared a little bit about herself. Uh, even I'm, I'm sure she shared a few things here today that um, request four songs at the very end. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Uh, <laughs> and I really like. She didn't even send you underpants. I'm sorry. Yeah. What I'm the hell, dude? Sorry for your loss. <laughs> <laughs> the gnome was funny. The gnome was very good. She gnomed us all. It was. Yeah. She's she's also a little bit of a troll, which I really really appreciate. She's very very, uh, just just a cool just a cool gal. I really really like her. Um, Absolutely. and I appreciate that she shared with us a few things that probably you guys who have wa been watching her for a long time, maybe don't haven't known yet, which this is why That's we right. do the show. Now everyone in stream will be able to talk about how she kissed the boy to piss off some other girl. <laughs> make sure that's a command. Just be like, Hey, Sunfire, who are you going to kiss today to make me mad? That's going to be the next stream. <laughs> <laughs> I will be in there asking that question. Uh, she'll be she'll be like my dog. She does have yeah. a great dog. The the thing is the thing is uh the thing is silence can't let it go. He just can't let it go. Never. Ever. I don't let anything go. Yeah. You know what? I'm fine. I have learned I'm settling into my role as fine. If I have to be the villain, I'll be the villain. I'm I'm already a Twitch villain. Yeah. I'm good with it. I that. mean, you know, this is the this is the show, uh, the music show, the ultimate music show. Okay. Don't come at me. That's right. Uh, but it's hosted by the two assholes of the music community, which I think is it's very, true. very, very <laughs> fitting. I'm we have, it's why I'm shocked we have so many people scheduling with us. They're like, oh, wait a minute. We haven't had people watching the stream yet who are like, should I do this? They're going to ask me about drama and ask yeah. me about who I kissed in high school. I'm and it's like, yes, of course. I'm I almost course sure as the, as the show goes on, some people will be canceling or will be like, um... Could I maybe like take back my uh, day because uh, I don't um, I don't want to talk about positive. that one drama. I'm only positive vibes on my stream. I can't talk about those things because <laughs> I'm a lot because I'm a liar and I use the word vibes as a shield. To oh not my have a god, Silence! You can't let I it go, word... can you? Oh my <laughs> vibes god! Vibes is my is my not having a personality shield word. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, I'm doing don't that. Don't listen to him. Still... <laughs> don't listen to him. Don't listen to him, guys. He's listen just he's, he's, he's 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 go block me. Yeah, Hit go block, block me. Twitch.tv slash the silence noise. Block me. I don't give a fuck. Bye. <laughs> I'm thinking the next stream is going to be, the next Music Exposed show is going to be called Positive Vibes Only. That's fine. Yeah. You can do that. You can do that. Especially because we have such a positive streamer next week. Bort is known <laughs> for his positive vibes. Yes. He's the most positive. Yes. You know what I love about Bort since we have him next week is like, that's a dude that has no problem getting into discussions about death and nihilism. And oh, yeah. Like the overthrow of... Ca Last time I was in a stream, he was talking about shedding material possessions and things like that. But Bort likes to have difficult conversations with his coffee he and does. guitar. He does. He does. I love that about him. He does. I love that. About I will him. have to ask him about. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't think he's watching anymore. But I will have to ask him about um, that one time that I went into his stream and he said, uh, "Women have more viewers because of boobs." <laughs> it's true. I mean, it is true. <laughs> I mean, it is very true. <laughs> but I'm excited. It's, well, didn't we talk about this before on a previous stream where we said, you know, it's easier for if you're at the starting line, it's easier for women to take off with that. Like it's an advantage at the start. But then gradually over time, it becomes a hindrance. It becomes more of a problem. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, you'll rock it up faster, but then you have to deal with more and more feet pick requests as time goes on. And then you're just like, all right, fuck this noise. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the, you just stole what I told you. I know. Yeah. I, it's my knowledge now. How do yeah. you like that? It's your knowledge now. You're just, you're just stealing my knowledge. Listen, that was my knowledge. Okay. Oh, I'm you can't sorry. just steal knowledge from people. That's not. Sarah is the stream guru. She's actually Sarah Jazz is actually becoming a stream coach. Oh. If you would like to learn how to grow your stream, twitch.tv slash Sarah Jazz yeah. or twitter.com slash Sarah Jazz. I, I, 
I mean, Ask her for tips. I mean, I actually know how to grow a stream and I know everything. I just don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't apply it on my own channel. I could listen. You are a new streamer. You want to get you going to get to the top. I will help you and I will tell you all the things. I just, you know, I just don't apply them to myself because that doesn't really it doesn't sync up with my vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Nisita, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank, thank you, you guys so for much. all the subs and all the donos. It makes a big difference. Uh, it's a huge help to us for doing this show. And yeah, I'm very grateful. We for are that also, well. if you, if you, if you are like, wow, this show is amazing. This needs a sponsor. You know, this needs a good sponsor. Listen, Pantene Pro V. If you're watching, yeah, Pantene, Pantene Pro V. If you're watching, Here, get, get, get the close up. I need yeah, the close up. I have the close, close up. up yeah, quick. yeah, you're there on the go. close up. Pantene Pro V. There yeah, go. please. Go. Can you like shake your head like to the side or something like from the shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> Glasses flew off. <laughs> what the hell? What? That was elegant, okay? That was Easy not breezy, elegant. beautiful cover silence noise. No, you're okay. just, no. Listen, I can't believe that you, you say that p people who like feet or are into feet are weird, you weirdo. Fucking weirdos. Fucking weird. You are a weirdo. Shit. Hey, don't talk, don't talk about me like that when I, my nickname is Sugar Tits, okay? Hey, already <laughs> someone just liked Sunfire's uh, Insta eight times. Well, you gotta, you gotta screenshot it now and post it on your story. And post thank you, and post thank you. <laughs> I thought about, I thought, like, there's a lot of people who do that for some reason. I thought, like, oh, should I do that too? Like, Sun is doing that. Should I do that too? <laughs> Should I also? Like I am right, 3D it? Code Warrior. Thank you. <laughs> I will say the things other people won't say. I don't care. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, uh, if you actually want to, if you if you have an idea, uh, who could want to sponsor this, it would be great because imagine if we got a ton of money for this for the show. Um, then imagine silence. If would... we were, imagine if we were rich. No, if you were watching the show and we were rich and we could look down on you for being poor. Yeah, while we're rich. We're just, you know, <laughs> we're just flaunted all the time. We would just, we, we would just arrive in our in our Lamborghinis and Ferraris. You know, this it wouldn't be in the studio. It would be That's right. bringing this live to you from our I'm, supercars. <laughs> I'm in the beach in Fiji. Yeah, I'm in Fiji right now. <laughs> our interview, our guest today is. Why does Sunflower spell her name with a Y? <laughs> Sun, the fuck no, is no, this? no, 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 Give me no, 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 no. She Give me already has tie. that though. Her name is Sunfries. <laughs> Sunfries. <laughs> no, Sunfries. Legit. Nintendo um, used to call her Sunfries, and they did a, a an interview with her where he like where like the whole time it was like Sunfries. He thought like fries. <laughs> You, you know, like the fries. <laughs> he must have been hungry, okay? He and was then, hungry, all right? And at some point she was like, um, my name is actually Sunfire. <laughs> like after months of him calling her Sunfries, months, months, months. And then he was like, oh my God. <laughs> so amazing. That is so amazing. He was so embarrassed. He was so embarrassed, but it was funny. It was funny. Uh. Anyway. Well. Uh, sun, uh, sun, uh, sun, sun, silence, uh, silence. The listen, sun fries listen, noise. Uh, douchebag, uh, noise. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was sugar tits. Now I'm douchebag again. Whatever. Yeah, no, you're sugar, Whatever. you're sugar tits, uh, douchebag, basically. Sugar tits McDouchebag. Yeah. That's find me at twitch.tv slash sugar tits McDouchebag <laughs> before my name gets, before my name gets banned. <laughs> sugar tits. Sugar tits TV. No, sugar tits, yes. sugar, yeah, okay, well, um, so, but please, everybody, go follow the silence noise, can Thank I get you. a big shout out for the silence noise, he's super awesome, 10 viewer Andy, probably after every show he's gonna lose 4 more viewers, at some point you're gonna it's have true. negative viewers, gonna be like, it's true, oh. I, well, It'll just be like it's always been. I understand until my until my Pete Barry McCockner <laughs> until my <laughs> until my PC melts down. Yeah, you know, at least then we'll be good. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being my co-host. I'll see you next thank week, you. next Saturday, where well. we talk to Bort. I'm excited to to see the questions that we have for him. Um, that you know that we both have for him. So just said to unfollow him. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Continue. Wasn't he a six viewers? Yes, but he started as a ten viewer Andy. No, he's a six viewer Andy, and right. um, he will be a two four two viewer Andy. 
very soon. That's right. Yeah. That's, I'm that's... going to be two viewer Chuck. That's going to be me. Two viewer Chuck. <laughs> Chuck feels like a good two viewer name. Yeah, that's what that's what you get for associating with the asshole of the Twitch community. That's right. Yeah. That's what I get for calling people who like feet creepy. They, yeah. They get unfollows. Yeah. If you like, if you're into feet pics, you can unfollow me. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? You're going to have all, all your people are going to unfollow because you have, you know. Yes, because I only have creeps that yeah, follow exactly. me. That is true. You're right. You're right. The only people that can tolerate my stream are really I creepy, mean, weird let's be people. honest, I you know. You know. I know. You're I mean, right. Let's, you're, let's you're be very wrong. honest. No. They are creepy. <laughs> yeah. And and my mod unfollowed me the other day. I have one mod and they unfollowed me, so that makes it even worse. So it's like, <laughs> Good, fine, luck, fine. <laughs> Good luck, Chuck. Fine. Good luck, Chuck. It's fine. I don't need a mod. I don't need anything. It's okay. Oh, well. Like I said, I'll just stream until my PC sets on fire, yeah. which is not that long from now, and then we'll be good. Yeah. Well. And make sure before before you have me go, I'll mention it again. I'll post it on the site. Make sure to check out the new um, the new songs from SD Beats, um, from Kinsuku with Pax and Maria da Silva and uh, Bethan Lemaire's new album. I'll post those on the musicexposed.show as well. But be sure to check those out and support music everywhere. Yes, support music everywhere. Well, thank you for for being here, Silence. Have a good night. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Well, today was such a great show. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Sun is 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 amazing. Uh, she's a good sport. She was very very interesting today. I actually heard a few things that uh, I haven't heard her say before so and this is what the show is for um by the match mode cover guy <laughs> today, today was the sugar tits yes it was um but this is what we want the show to be for you guys if you watch your if your favorite streamer is on the show that it that the show basically shows you a side of the streamer that maybe they haven't shown you before or um you get to know more about them uh, especially when it comes to music because you know as music streamers i mean you some you, you don't go every stream around saying um hey i did this and that and hey i'm awesome because you know i this is my experience and all of that um you don't do that all the time so sometimes you might actually miss um, miss it when when streamers talk about their experience as musicians in general so um, and also you know the juicy the juicy tea I really like it I really enjoyed that um, I'm very excited for Bort next week Bort is um, also kind of a little bit of a black sheep of the music community a, just a little bit and um, he <laughs> I'm, I'm sure he will have a lot of opinions and a lot of good stuff to uh, to to share with us and it will be a, a juicy episode you guys know it will be a very very juicy episode because he is not afraid to speak his mind my friends he is not afraid anyway Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here for another episode of Music Exposed. This was our second episode. We're going to be here all year, my friends. All year, every Saturday from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, and we're going to have all the best and all the most amazing music streamers on Twitch. And uh, be here next Saturday again as we expose boards. Thank you so much for being here and have a wonderful night. Bye.